I have a lot of chat to catch up on, Jesus Christ, you guys. <laughs> Hello, Eloy. I don't know if you're here right now, but uh, welcome to stream if you are. Um, Pazer, I did finally listen to the the har the oh, oh my god the Harvest Moon tracks. They they are nice. I I didn't have the same connection to them that you do, of course. But yes, they are nice. Uh, hello, hello, Elena, In Revenant, Pedro, uh, K. Hi. Open stream just to leave us right away. I mean, yeah. I figured it was better than just not having the BRB s screen at all. Hi, Lily. How you doing? It's good that everybody's doing well. He's on a side quest right now, Demonic. Sailor Lily. Let me actually bring up the, the screen. Where is it? Where is it? Here we are. Meow. I actually, <laughs> when I started the stream, I had Dearly Beloved going on this screen, but um, I also had the, the Be Right Back music. And I started thinking of like, Dearly Beloved as a bossa nova song. <laughs> Just with like the, the uh, claves in the, in the drum track. Hi, Turnip. How you doing? Been torturing kids with learning music as usual? That's great. Thank you for your service. Dearly beloved intensifies. Alright. Okay, I'm caught up. Here run as the Rafiki. I love Kingdom Hearts 2 as well. I was gonna say 2, but that is redundant. So, um... As I mentioned in the description, this is not going to be a new playthrough. I started playing this a little while back, so I'm in, I think I'm in Port Royal right now. Uh, this is not my first time playing Kingdom Hearts. It's more like my, I don't know, fourth? Like, I, I grew up with the games, so I've known about Kingdom Hearts 2 for a long time. Who? Feel SE of oh, Square Enix dropped the ball with Kingdom Hearts. So many games and other consoles in Kingdom Hearts 3 is just like five years overdue. Yeah, this is on PC. This is Final Mix on PC. And my controller's not doing anything. I wish that wasn't the case. Maybe if I focus on the screen, that'll help. Yep, that'll do it. Black screen! Yeah! Black screen, black screen. I forgot that, um, that's how 1.5 works on the PC, is the, uh, the title select screen is actually not the same application as the game it launches. Are you preparing to play the upcoming game? I'm not sure what you mean. Um, but yeah, I, I agree, Pazer. Kingdom Hearts is overall a total mess, just in general. Hold on, I've got to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so this is my first time playing Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. So I have not done the organization battles before. I beat Zexion in Olympus Coliseum, but I don't stand a chance against Larxene yet. And actually, you know what? I'm realizing that um, there is something else I need to be doing right now. Uh, I've got to play Swim This Way. We're in the heart of darkness. It's important that we do Swim This Way. Zexion is an excellent emo. I've done this, but it's you got to do the mini game dancing. again. I am feeling patronized. This is the best song in Kingdom Hearts, guys. 
Let's have some respect for the masterpiece this is. I don't have a problem with uh, Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 1. I didn't love it, but it was fine. Definitely better than this. And if you can't reach the target, use magic! There's only... There are only two rhythmic prompts in this entire song. And one button. Who's the male voice? Uh, Sebastian? I think is who you're hearing? This is what you torture kids with. Should have gotten paid overtime for the whole world. Yeah. Now what about the bubbles? She really phones this in, and I don't blame her. I should not be able to talk during a rhythm game and do this well. That just shows how boring and contentless this is. Gotta let him know when to drum, drum, drum. Here's your big moment, make him cheer! Don't dilly dally, it's your big finale! Sha la la! Sha la la! You make quite a splash! That's what I'm saying! Swim this way, we're dancing, we're playing, now it's very easy, come on, we just want to shake a beat! That one felt like a little offbeat, actually. I don't know if I agree with that prompt timing. Just booted up your PS4 to play Kingdom Hearts 2? Perfect! Smash like and switch to live chat! Hold on, let's see, let's see. I, I remember that there, there was a mission for this. That's it? That was the entire goal, just do it again. What a fun mini game, what a, what a cool side quest challenge. Repeat content. Hi Radden, thank you! Two bucks out of pity for having to go through this? I put myself through it, but thank you very much. You know, we survived together, and we're stronger for it. Um, there's the same spot. Let's get up. Let's, let's get the hell out of here. Let's leave and never come back until I have Magnera or whatever it is you need to do the next thing. Uh, oh, I'm not even allowed to go there. I think their voice acting performances and pacing of the scenes just entered a downward trajectory after 2. Um, I can't really comment on that. I don't think I really played any of them after 2. I've played a bit of Birth by Sleep. I've played like the first half of Ventus' storyline, but that's all. So I don't know very much about Birth by Sleep. And then Kingdom Hearts 3, I just refuse to play. I might play it at some point if I'm able to do it for free. But no way am I paying for Kingdom Hearts 3. It's not happening. You know, maybe I can borrow it from my sister, actually, because there's no way she's going to play it again. So to recap, do I oh my god, why are we actually ordering coffee in the chat? Aqua's best girl? That's what I hear. I have not seen enough of her to comment, but I hear that often enough, and from my sister, that, um, I, I, I totally believe it. Ah! That was a jump scare. Not really. Excuse me. Time to open a treasure chest. Oh, yeah, he moves. Nice! If you put an AP boost on not Sora, you're wrong. Yeah. Ha. Ha chow. Oh, nothing. Great. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say stickers, but they're stickers in um. Yeah. Yeah. 
Kingdom Hearts, uh, sorry, Pirates of the Caribbean did start in 2003. And maybe it should have stopped. Because that was an excellent movie and they never rolled up the same stride since. Uh, why not play Kingdom Hearts 3? Because it's bad. Because it's bad. But I don't mean to shit on anybody who had fun with it. If you had fun with it, great. I'm glad you did. I don't think it's quality art. I think it's phoned in at best. That's not to say that I'm... I, I'm not very disappointed by it because I knew I was going to hate it. Uh, birthplace. Oh wait, I was about to ask crit mode, then I looked at the HP. No, I'm not in crit mode. No, this is just standard. <laughs> I'm not good enough for all that. Especially not while I'm streaming. I'm, I'm not bad at this game in general, but when I'm streaming, I really am just mashing X until the, until the fight's over. And I'm okay with that. Because I want to talk with you guys. Birth by Sleep was about the same uh, standard as Kingdom Hearts 2, but from what I've seen, it's from the trailers, their performances felt like nails on a char chalkboard compared to before. It it, it depends. I, I mean, I remember hearing that um, it was Aqua's first role, and I do think we see evidence of that in the game. Uh, but otherwise, I, I don't think I really noticed anything as, I don't know too abrasive. It's pretty fun after Remind. Alright, that's good to know. I will probably give it a shot at some point, again, <laughs> if I can do it for free. You might want to lower the game volume. Oh no! Thank you. You know what it is, it's because we were, uh, we were jamming to Ori last time. Jamming to that Ori in the Blind Forest shit. Donald's screeching in our ears. DLC has some really good bosses. I've seen the footage, it looks amazing. Did proud mode and it was challenging and fun, but I'm not touching critical mode. <laughs> yeah. Now, let's be trying this again. The last of the Aztec treasure has been returned. Birth by Sleep was still about the same as Kingdom Hearts 2? Got it. I've, I've played a little of Dream Drop Distance, but not much. This time for sure, he says. Critical is easier than Proud? That seems like it's objectively not true, but I don't know, I haven't done it. Yeah, you guys, Donald's a pirate. Goofy <laughs> too. <laughs> You're fabulous, darling. Best save the play acting for the nursery. After them! I know, that scene is just like it is in the movie. Starts you off with a lot of abilities. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, where's Jack? Did you seriously just ask, where's Jack? There's a sword fight happening in the same room as you. Jack, you're a fool. You die faster. Yeah, I, I'm sure that's true. I do not know how crit works in Kingdom Hearts 2. Awkward, silent sword fight. I mean, I'd be focusing. Higher risk, higher reward. That actually sounds pretty freaking fun. Ew, I hate that animation. Jack. Ew. Why does he look like that? The tide has changed. Oh yeah, I forgot Captain Barbosa <laughs> turns uh, teams up with Pete. Of all people. 
Critical uh, in Kingdom Hearts 2 is probably the best. That's cool. I'll check it out. Now, again, this is my first time playing Final Mix, so I didn't even have access to critical mode before. <laughs> Gotta find the thing. There it is. Why are you cackling like a lunatic? Wow, that was hard. That had so much HP. Does this guy attack or... Okay, there he is. Uh-oh. Ow. Ow. Blast and a bit. Forgot about that attack. Um, let's do this and Oh no! That's right! I never mind. I was gonna go into Valor form, but uh the game knocked Goofy out of the combat for me. And I don't like wisdom form. There's nothing wrong with it, I'm just not spec for it. I've got all of my stuff aimed towards strength, since the attacks are just better than magic in general in this game. Not in all situations, but most of them. So I'm just not spec right for wisdom form. Agreed. He just kind of shows up and pretends to have any bearing on the plot. This ain't uh, over. Planning to play Kingdom Hearts 2 on critical mode at some point in the near future. Never done it before, but everyone says it's fun. Nice! I'm gonna have to give it a shot. You gotta moon him to get it to take damage. <laughs> you can backseat game, because uh, I've played this game to death. Well, the original, anyway. What say you, we call uh, I thought magic was OP. Maybe it is, but not the way I use it. How many times do I have to tell you? Like, the, the magic's good, don't get me wrong, but the MP is so limited. <laughs> Laugh while you can, Barbosa. Wisdom form is really good if you spec for it, because it regen... I feel... God, the w the way they take scenes from the Disney movies and water them down in this game is hilarious to me. It always looks awful. <laughs> A wild pad. What now, Jack? Whatever I want. Now that the Poe is mine again. Uh, some of the audio samples are pretty good audio quality, and the string music sounds pretty good. Makes me think, when did video oh, game sound just start to use high bitrate sound quality in general? I don't know exactly, but they did redo the entire soundtrack for the uh, Final Mix version. I don't remember what year that came out, but the original title came out in 2006, and that was still meaty. Just all of the animations in this world are bad. I don't blame them. They were trying to do live action feel before that was really an option in these games, but Jesus. It's like they skipped the meat of the movie and just went to the end, yeah. Please for the love of God, get, uh, get rid of Slapshot? I don't know what that means. If you have MP, haste, and rage, and all that, you can use magic effectively. Yeah, and that's what makes uh, wisdom form good. Is if you are spec for it, then there's lots of MP regen. 
Um, but since I just don't have the equipment equipped for magic usage, um, wisdom form is actually worse than nothing. But that's just my playstyle. When I want to level up wisdom form, I'll switch over, but in general, for just going through the game, I'm just gonna hit stuff with a key. I remember van uh, finishing vanilla Kingdom Hearts on PS2 back in the day, then immediately finding out there was a final mix and seeing it was like a no. hundred twenty pounds. Jeez, this is preferable to me compared to them recreating all of Let It Go in Kingdom Hearts 3, but worse. <laughs> I don't think I have Kingdom Hearts 2 on. Why? What's wrong with Dodge Slash? Genuinely, I don't know. One thing I don't didn't like outside of the first game, they went more than just redoing movie scenes instead of incorporating, creating uh, interesting in-game stories. Yeah, the first game actually did have some original stories with familiar characters. This just is the movies on repeat with, like, Sora, Gon Donald, and Goofy injected into them. Limit form has slap shot? Maybe it does. Oh yeah, I can't actually do menu stuff from here. Forgot C Sora was the CEO of doing the cringe anime elbows up pose? Yeah, he really is. More realistic animations must have been very impressive by the time this came out. Yeah, probably. Dodge slash is a really bad ability in Kingdom Hearts 2? Why? It's slow. Hi, Nicholas. Uh, where should I go? 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 Well, I've got two options. Um, I was doing some of the gummy mission stuff, but I fell behind on it. So I don't have a great gummy ship right now. Definitely good enough, though. Uh, we'll just go with this blueprint. It's probably better than anything I have equipped. Lounge around doing the cringe elbows up pose because I thought it made me so cool. Oh no! It's a slow attack with really wonky hitboxes, especially on higher uh, difficulty. It can actually screw you due to revenge value. Ew! Why would they program something that way? Dodge slash is okay on normal or beginner modes, but it's no good on harder difficulties. Good to know. Beep. I really like Kingdom Hearts 2's gummy ship stuff. I've heard it's pretty good in Kingdom Hearts 3 too, actually. Uh, in Kingdom Hearts 1 it sucked. I don't think that's controversial to say. Oh no! Oh no, I did get it, okay. Ah! Gummy! Another backseat, your Keyblade gives bonus damage for air combos, so do some. <laughs> like I said, I'm not actually gonna play well on stream. It just, it doesn't work. I, my focus is split too much. As long as I am not dying, I am playing perfectly. It shouldn't be legal for gummy ship music to go this hard. I really like the gummy soundtracks. Uh, it's supposed to help you deflect, but the final mix ability flash step is way better. Oh, okay, cool. My ex was super into gummy ships and his favorite ship was just a super thin platform covered in guns. It's my kind of design. I, I have no time for aesthetics. I want to shoot stuff and kill it. Uh, remember to build your own ships in a donut shape. Really? Hitboxes are way too good? Shit, alright. 
I loved how they did sort of different story for Tarzan with Deep Jungle. They did, and with Alice in Wonderland as well, they they had the they actually had the Heartless play a role in the story in that one. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Should actually look at what I'm doing since the targets matter. There we go. Ah! Nice. Uh, where was I? Okay. I appreciated how they took Tarzan and other Disney characters and made it seem like they were complete characters and had t wisdom to teach Sora. Yeah, like, he, he, ooh, ooh, ha. That's why I'm here to backseat. <laughs> Ships shoot center mass so you don't get hit if nothing's there. That's amazing. What a cool exploit. Talking about gummy ships, I'm probably in the smallest minority, but when I originally played Kingdom Hearts 3 for the first time, the only part of the game I enjoyed was the gummy ship portion. I don't know if you are in the minority. Um, I've I've heard good things about Kingdom Hearts 3's gummy missions, and I have heard nothing else good about Kingdom Hearts 3. Alonzi Yungabunga. I don't even know what that means, but I like it. I feel like in this world, they were kind of stuck on what to do because they did so much of the movie in the first game and now they're just like, uh, I guess we just milk the part where Santa's there. At the time Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, people would get mad at me for saying that? Oh, I mean, Kingdom Hearts fans can be pretty rabid. I, I'm sure there are people who would still be mad at you for saying that, but I have heard good stuff about uh, the gummy missions, and seeing how good they are in Kingdom Hearts 2, I believe they could have been good in Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. I think we're backseating. You can. You totally can. In general, I really hate backseating, but I've played this game so many times that, like, th there's no... There are no further organic experiences for me to have in this game. I've had them all. So, whatever I don't already know, I'm not going to learn if you don't tell me. <laughs> I probably won't care, but you can tell me. Wow. Hey, it's Just my two cents. Even though I don't play their games, I don't know how people thought they would be anything but disappointed when Starfield would release, given Bethesda's reputation. I was hoping that Starfield would be cool, since it's a new IP. I was hoping that it would give them a, a shot to do some new stuff, but yeah, I'm not surprised that they didn't take that opportunity. I, I will say, um, Starfield's release has gotten me back into Skyrim. I told my friend I was replaying Skyrim and he was like, why not get Starfield? And I'm like, because I already own and modded Skyrim. Why would I get Starfield? That would be bad for two reasons. Unmodded and I have to pay for it? No thanks. It's basically a $60 reskin. There are already free reskins for Skyrim. People go back and forth with Kingdom Hearts 3 a lot of the time. Oh, I didn't know it was polarizing. I thought everybody agreed it was really disappointing, because it is. I will sit now sit further back to join the backseating of a game I never played before. <laughs> You've played Kingdom Hearts 2, haven't you? Have you not? Oh! Kingdom Hearts 3 gets a lot of hate. Most of it is deserved, but it's overblown. Uh, yeah, I, I think a lot of people were really, really upset that it didn't live up to their expectations. And honestly, I gotta say, those expectations were undeserved to begin with. And Merry Christmas! Halloween Town was weird in this one. I did kind of love the goofiness of the second part with the present thief. Yeah, it, but yeah, it's... 
it, it's missing the darkness that the first games um running the show again this year but i need sandy the first game had a really good vibe for this world and all the christmas stuff in this iteration of it just it it's too happy santa claus aren't these decorations wonderful let the modders fix the game that's todd's unspoken motto agreed but first, Kingdom Hearts 3's level design in general is pretty good. Yeah, I've actually, I've heard it's relatively fun. Like, there's nothing wrong with how the game plays. It just has a really disappointing story. And, um... The music's really fucking good, too. Wanna go check it out? My expect expectations were standard and I was still disappointed, yeah. I like Kingdom Hearts 3 just fine, way better than Dream Drop Distance. I believe that. I haven't finished Dream Drop Distance, but what I've played of it is... Hmm. Started having fun with Kingdom Hearts 3 combat when they gave us new, mostly old abilities. <laughs> My friend who is playing Starfield currently and gave it a 4 out of 10, he's played some more and raised his review score to a 5 out of 10. I'm glad it gets better. I've heard from a lot of people that it gets better, but takes too long to get better, and I've also heard from one person that it gets worse. Hello, so... Yeah. You see that I'm in the I thought most people thought it was disappointing, but there's a, there is a subsection of Twitter that really loves to defend it, I guess. There's a subsection of Twitter for everything. Hi, Eloy. Yeah, story-wise, Kingdom Hearts 3 was disappointing, but gameplay, world design, and music were all good. Nice. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, Vector of the Heavens, bangs so hard. It's really good. Hi, Fleta. Hey, First time in a live? Welcome! Oh, that reminds me. I did want to say this at the beginning of stream, but I'll say it now, uh, because I forgot. Starting October 1st, I will be streaming on a new channel. Uh, 99.9- I actually did the math, 99.99% of my subscribers don't have interest in my streams, which is completely fine. Uh, because they're not my main content, I just do this for fun. So I'm moving streams to a second channel, so that people feel more like they can turn on notifications for my channel and not get stuff they're not even interested in. Um, so, starting October 1st, I will be starting on Jonathan Bartouche with a two instead of the OU. There's nothing on that channel right now, but you can subscribe to it in advance if you'd like. Well, that's all right. Just as long as it's ready for Christmas. Uh, they even went back to having original Disney World plot lines. Great. I only ever played 358 over two on, and hold on, I gotta move this window. I'm used to gameplay and story as the general standard for Kingdom Hearts, so this all new this is all new and kind of confusing for me. Like, what's a gummy ship? <laughs> I like the gummy ships. I like DDD a lot. I mean, again, I never want to shit on anybody's, like, favorable opinions towards something. Honestly, if you like something that I don't, that's great for you, because it means there are more things in the world for you to enjoy. Uh, what are they called again? Heartless? But I also really understand why people don't like Dream Drop Distance. I gave it a pass because it was a 3DS game. Fair. But first, the Heartless. I really need to figure out... Uh, I, I really need to experience the story of Dream Drop Distance. I've, I've heard it's something. Honestly, I find it so unbelievable that Sora's obsessed with Santa. He is 15 goddamn years old in this game. He is 15 years old. Bartouche 2. We're the odd bunch who watch the Barouche streams. It's a really regular group, which I love. Recoded was leagues better gameplay-wise. I didn't play it. I don't think there's a subsection of Twitter that is consistently moderate on every controversial topic. Somebody, someone who attempts to achieve that will always be triggered. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I was drawn to John by his near analysis, but to be honest, his personality was very entertaining in the videos too. Aw, thank you. I'm glad you're here. I think I recognize your profile pic. I think you've uh, commented before. 
I never want to shit on anybody's wrong opinions. No, I I do think that some opinions are invalid, but none of them have to do with um, art and entertainment. Art and entertainment are so subjective that if you say something that doesn't make any sense to me, I'll believe it. But I think some opinions on real things can definitely be wrong. What is your favorite Kingdom Hearts game? That's a great question. Um, in terms of story, it's Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, but I don't enjoy the gameplay. Um, I think this is probably my favorite game, Kingdom Hearts game in terms of gameplay. I think it's really solid. I really like the gameplay in Birth by Sleep as well, but I feel that the different equipable abilities are a little overwhelming, and it's hard to uh, form like a solid kit because you're changing and fusing abilities all the time. Um, I think Kingdom Hearts 2 had a really good balance of um, things that never change in your kit and things that change whenever you want them to in your kit. And the reaction commands are super fun. Even though they're mindless, they're, they're just fun and pretty. I won't give the time travel a pass, yeah. I think the Fantasia world in Dream Drop Distance was nice. There's a Fantasia world? That's so cool! I will have to play more of the game then, because that just sounds amazing. Found the channel from the Snow and Summer video. That was the first one! This is the first time I've caught a stream live, but I'm glad I did. Welcome, Radden. Thank you, thank you. Fantasia World and Dream Drop Distance was my favorite part. I'm gonna have to check it out. I never even knew there was one. I think all the Kingdom Hearts games have their strengths and weaknesses. That's true. Dream Drop Distance for me was just... The story is... Let's just say it's the reason why Kingdom Hearts 3 is the way it is. That's a good point. Kingdom Hearts 3 had to follow up on Dream Drop Distance. Sora is very much a himbo. Yeah. Oh, asking for city ruins and salvation. <laughs> yeah, I do have those those in my notes. Uh, look, I don't think you're wrong. I think you're stupid. No, that's not what I'm saying either. You twisted my words on purpose. What should we bring along next? Lily, yeah, time, time travel and nording people was again. not it. Or something even worse. Recoded did the command deck the best, but then they dropped the ball again in Dream Drop Distance. Yeah. Chain of Memories for real had the most interesting story, but the most agonizing gameplay couldn't get past two hours in. I I did play um, Re Chain of Memories for a while, and then I realized, like, wait a minute. I'm literally only playing this game to get to the story. The story's on YouTube. So I went to YouTube, and it was a good decision. Yeah, I I don't like Riku's side of the story in Chain of Memories, but I think Sora's side of Chain of Memories has the most thematically and logically consistent plot in the series. And I think it's actually quite maturely written as well. I really like how Naminé is, is portrayed through the whole thing. I think it's really well done. Only Kingdom Hearts game I couldn't really get into was Union. I don't even know anything about Union Cross. But that's because gotcha games are dangerous. I didn't know it was a gotcha. I didn't. I don't know anything about Union Cross. Remember how the hu how huge the town square was in Kingdom Hearts One? Here's a tiny little thing. Yeah, it's because Sora's older now. It's a metaphor. Just kidding. Is she on Fans Unite? Who? Chain of Memories is fun-ish, but gets boring real fast. I mean, people have a lot of different opinions on it. I I know I I know Pacer really likes it. And I'll be honest, that's the first time I've heard somebody say that they really like Chain of Memories gameplay. This is my first live from you and I already like it. Aww! Came from the Shion analysis video. I had so much fun putting that video together. It took me like three months to do it. Because I kept changing and undoing and redoing and cutting and pasting. But I... Ultimately, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm glad you're here. Riku's side of gameplay is actually really fun. I believe that. I don't know anything about it, but I, I believe you. I remember a few years after 
uh, playing Kingdom Hearts 2, stumbling upon a Sora Riku shipper who had good fan art of them. Riku with two Ks or Riku with one? Because they're different characters. And uh, honestly, I could get behind Sora and Riku with two Ks. I'm not a fan of Sora and Riku with one K. I think that's an extremely toxic relationship. Like, extremely toxic. Riku shouldn't be with anybody. He needs to work on himself. He's already got two people inside him. That wasn't an innuendo, but I know you're gonna take it that way, so go ahead. Makes me think of the Nightmare Before Christmas. It is the Nightmare Before Christmas. It is a, a very clear repli uh, replication of, of Danny Elfman's check, a track. Yes, I am playing at 60 uh, frames per second and it feels really good compared to the original. Chain of Memories is fun when you get the slates that you can cheese enemies with. Fair. Started as a browser game, then turned into a mobile game. Only thing that didn't change was it being bad. <laughs> I, I remember hearing that it was a browser game. Is Riku the 2B of Sora's 9S? Maybe. Whoa! Shuffling cards came naturally that I was able to ignore and treat like any other Kingdom Hearts game. Yeah, I... Again, like I said in the previous stream, I I don't think that the the cards made... Wait, this is new, right? This is definitely new. They added these costumes for Final Mix. These weren't in the original. That's so cool. His snowman outfit, my god. Yeah, they were only- with two Ks? Alright, nice. It is disappointing that they only showed up very, very briefly in Radiant Garden and had no bearing on the plot. But I mean, that's true of all the Final Fantasy characters. They show up extremely briefly, do nothing, and then pretend that they're Sora's best friends. RuneScape, what are you talking about? By the way, while it's on my mind, what songs are you thinking of analyzing next, Jonathan? I've got a whole tr chain already set up. A chain of memories to come. Uh, so the next video is going to be on the music of Chapter 1 of Honkai Star Rail, uh, specifically Wildfire, but a lot of other tracks as well. Then we're going to be looking at um, um, Quiet and Falling from Celeste, which I am hoping to uh, upload by the anniversary of my first Celeste video, which is late October. And after that, um, we have... Emil, and then probably the opening sequence of Ori and the Blind Forest. I'm quite behind on the stuff that the Patreon polls have been voting on uh, for a multitude of reasons, including that they didn't vote for Honkai Star Rail. I just decided we're doing that. Um, so as a result, there is quite a lineup because there are already two poll winners that I haven't started working on. So I hope that answers your question. Because <laughs> we already have the next four videos set in stone. Oh, RuneScape plays in a browser? Oh yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. One thing Kingdom Hearts 3 did better than 2 was make the... OTC. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Phantom of the Copra. Pinocchio of the cards. Princess of the cosmos. Okay, what's POTC? Phantom of the Copra. <laughs> um. Or was I? Sora's still an emo snowman. He's not a snowman, he's an elf. Donald's a snowman. Squall beats up Sora and tells him plot, so that's kind of important. It's almost important. Emo Santa hat is missing a brooch up on front. 
Oh, like the punk pigkin. Yeah, you're right. I like the his icon in the HP gauge though, just a. Uh, so cool hearing your plans for the music analysis videos. I'm looking forward to it. I am too. I'm really excited for the Star Rail one in particular. I've wanted to do this one for a long time. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really excited to be working on it. I've already written most of it. I just need to go over the chapter one finale again. I actually, I have replayed the entire prologue and first chapter of Honkai Star Rail just to get footage of it because all of the footage of Honkai Star Rail online is watermarked, which is stupid as hell, because why would you put a watermark on unedited game footage? That's so asinine. It's not your content. Anyway. Darkness of the Unknown joke here. I'm gonna make that video. I just don't know when I'm gonna have time. Alex McCall is actually named Wildfire from Star Rail as the best song of the year. I I do think uh, the, the moment where Wildfire plays will prove to be one of the best moments in gaming, like of the of the decade, maybe. I, I think it's phenomenally done. Hello, everyone. Did you come to see if you're on my nice list? Even though we're barely halfway through, yeah. His HP icon feels like a Santa helper coming in on his sick day. Have you played the new Swarm Disaster event in Honkai? I haven't played Honkai Star Rail in quite a while, actually. It's been about a month. I've just... I've been so fucking busy. Any new... got any thoughts on the new game Project Mugen? It looks really cool. I'm trying to stay away from it because I can tell it's just gonna eat up my life like all the other games I get into, but it looks really good. It looks really good. Would you be interested in reviewing music from stuff like anime? Very, I've put anime stuff on polls in the past, uh, but they don't get much traction. So at some point I'm just gonna have to be like, okay, we're doing it now. I almost, like, the, um, the poll that's up right now, I think Creedence Just a TM is on the poll right now. And it, like, almost won? I think it's in second place. Anyway, yes, I do want to talk about anime music. Um, I, I wouldn't rec necessarily recommend playing Honkai Star Rail, it, like, it, it's a good game if you like what it is, but it's not worth playing if you don't like it, if that makes sense. Like, I, I, I know that sounds obvious, but you know, some people will say, even if you don't like this game, I'll say about Celeste, like, look, Celeste has accessibility options, it's short, it's cheap, and it's beautiful art. Everyone should play Celeste, even if they don't think they're gonna like it. Honkai Star Rail, I don't feel that way about. Honkai Star Rail, if you like turn-based gameplay, it's really solid turn-based gameplay, and the story has some really beautiful moments in it. I don't think you should play it if you don't like turn-based gameplay. This Santa still terrifies me to this game. You think you played that part without the music? Oh, I'm gonna have an aneurysm, dude! And the Santa needs to write a couple of irises on his Christmas wish list. He calls him naughty for dissing him once. Good point. One thing I wanted to bring to your attention. Oh, there's a song by Annie Evans in the game Aragami 2 named Endless. It uses more chaos language. I think you'd love it. Give it a listen. I will. Thank you. I might check out the cutscene movies on YouTube then. Yeah, do that. I gotta see your account in Honkai Star Rail. Oh, so you can judge me as for it. Um, I've got my, my main team. I'm trying to remember because, again, it's been like a month. My main team is typically... I think I've been using Shushong. I can't remember though. I've definitely been using Sil Silver Wolf and Himeko a lot, because they're my only five stars. No, that's not true, because I also got Luo Cha, and he's an amazing healer. So yeah, I've got the three of them, and then I usually use Shushong in the first slot. HSR is not on Switch, but it is free. 
If you don't like gotcha then and don't want to grind, then don't play Honkai Star Rail. I think that's a fair assessment. I've already put off Kingdom Hearts games for so long because I know it would eat my time like the first one. Mugen can join that list with all the other games there. Yeah, I, I will say I'm more likely to play JRPGs than gotcha games at this point. I, I know there are gotcha JRPGs, but like pretending there aren't, I'm much more likely to play JRPGs than gotcha games because even JRPGs will eat up less time than gotcha games will. I know how I play gotcha games. And games like Honkai Star Rail encourage you to play for like half an hour a day, and nobody's got time for that. Unless they do, in which case, good job, I guess? Couldn't get into Genshin Impact because of its gameplay, but I liked Honkai Star Rail because of the turn-based gameplay. That's really interesting. I think in general, Genshin Impact has more to do than Honkai Star Rail, but I do think that Honkai Star Rail serves a very different niche. Main character, March, Kafka, and Bailu. I like Kafka a lot. I just got Bailu, actually, but I think Luocha is probably... If, if he's not better, I've already built him, so I don't really need Bailu. Why do you use Kafka without a dot unit? I don't know anything about Kafka's kit, so I, I can't even comment on that. Any mimics in Kingdom Hearts? No. I just like my team right now. I'm surprised that you've got um, the main character and March 7th, since usually in gacha games, like the starting characters are... Uh, did I already save? I lost track of what I'm doing. No, I did not. Um, Luchaw is busted, same as Silverwolf. Yeah, I like him. Um, yeah, I, I like... I like the main character in March 7th a lot, too. Uh, I think their kits are fun, and I think they're fun, personality-wise. Yeah. I need to actually do some puzzle stuff, huh? Pieces. Wait, no, that's not the right menu. Hold on, let's just look through all of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I played the game, I was there. I like how Santa is the only square that isn't gray. Wait, what it- Why does it still say there's new stuff in the story? There's not- Okay. Alright, fine. Whatever. What do you want? Yay. Still more. Jeez. Puzzle pieces. Okay. Um. Yeah, probably there. That's probably how that fits together. Um. Hmm. Maybe like that? That looks right. They're probably further up. Unless they're not. I don't know. Anyway. Um, Luachaw is 100% better than Bailu. All right. I certainly like him a lot. Do I hate any new tags in journals? I gotta eradicate them. Honkai Star Rail Free Unit is really good. Oh, nice. Let's see, what else can I throw on here? I swear there's something that's like a... I thought there was something else to cost that I wanted to equip. I guess not.
I just want... I want upper slash, so I've got to get two more AP. Oh wait, hold on. Do you have any... It doesn't matter what he's got equipped, I'm not going to use him. Goofy's already full up. I could probably switch him around. He really should have second chance equipped. Um... Hmm. Let's get rid of that. Good enough. Didn't get Locha, so I have to use Bailu for now. I mean, Bailu's good. Bailu's certainly a, a competent healer. It's just Locha also has so much uh, damage output, so he's just he, he, he's just he's a complete package. Tiramisu pick, nice. If you would ever want help in Honkai Star Rail, add me on Discord. I play Honkai Star Rail so much. Cool. Uh, go ahead and wait. I, I don't know if you've joined the. Discord that the Discord server I have, um, but that's a good way to stay in touch with me on Discord. I, in general, I don't really look for help with games because I, I feel that if I'm told the best way to play a game, then I'm not actually playing the game. I'm just putting work into watching a movie, if that makes sense. Um, so I, I never seek advice or resources out but little tips here and there can be fun. Why do we have to hide? Speaking of mimics, there are mimics in Dark Cloud 2, but the game would do this close-up close up of the chest as you open them. Oh. Sometimes the clown man would pop out randomly from chests and make you choose between two useful gifts. So it was either a jackpot or a heart attack. That's funny. I did get rid of Dodge Slash. I already did it. I already did it. Oh. It's lock, shock, and barrel. Not those three. It's lock, shock, and barrel. Well, whatever the case, they've been quite naughty. Can yeah, Maleficent is here? an afterthought in Kingdom Hearts 2. Oh no, not a lecture. Uh, Mr. Claus, I wanted to talk to you about Now I'm thinking of buying Celeste. Good. You should! Everyone should! It's an amazing story! It changed my life! Not really. It changed how I think about mental illness! alright then. Remember me for your Dark Souls 3 stream? I... I don't know, man. I'm not making any promises. I really do like that solo life. I really do. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I put the Discord server in the description. If not, it's definitely on my YouTube profile, like the the main channel page. Yeah. And we're pretty active on there. I will explode when you stream Dark Souls 3. I still need to get it first, and uh, again, I, I just, I don't have the money for new games right now. Maleficent is an afterthought in every game except the first one? Yeah. And she was, she was decently menacing in the first one, but no one else in her little council of evil was actually a threat. They didn't even know how to strategize. It's over. Yeah. A gaggle of Disney villains throwback. <laughs> I've discord and got Celeste, but only beat the normal story, not B or C sides. I've beaten some of the B sides, but none of the C sides. Offers always open. Thank you. Uh, time to play Dark Souls 1, then what could go wrong? Yeah, prepare to die, edition. I promise I won't backseat? No, it, it's not about that. I'm, I'm not worried that you're going to, like, ruin the game experience for me. It's just, like, I, I don't really play multiplayer games. I don't enjoy it very much. 
Still makes me laugh that Maleficent thought a Santa Heartless would be this powerful thing. It's Santa, lady. His Heartless has about as much darkness as sunshine. That's true. In three, her whole thing is doing KH4 setup, and I'm betting all my life savings she will do nothing in four. Santa Heartless would end up conquering maybe a town. Fair. Oh, hey. Look at you. Daylight. <sighs> oh, I don't know what to do with that shit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There was an edge piece. You can go over here. And you can go not in the corner. And you can stay there. One of my favorite things in Dark Souls 3 is being a spear of the church. I don't know what that means. Meow, 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 meow. Are you going for 100% or just casual play? Um... I don't know. I'm I'm casually leaving the option open for 100%. How about that? You could know what it means one day. That's so true. I was so looking forward to destroying that, that ridiculous, ridiculous Christmas, Christmas town. town. But now that Sora and those imbeciles are here, I think a change of plan is called for. Revenge before pleasure, after all. That is my motto. The magnificent malevolent kind, of course. The but maleficent so kind. Bad. Like Oogie's kind of bad. And that's super duper bad. No, Oogie, Oogie Boogie's not really Oogie Boogie. bad so much as he is. Sensed insects. Yeah, that's my thought process. How intriguing. And where might I find him? Jack and his dumb, stupid friends destroyed him. How did she make an M sound while her teeth were like more intriguing still? I believe Sounds good, good luck and have fun either way. I definitely will have fun either way. I don't know about 100%, but I will there are certainly some things that I will try to do. Like I'm going to try to get every treasure chest without a guide cuz that's just fun. I like scavenger hunt type stuff. Um and I definitely want to find all the puzzle pieces. I don't know what else counts as 100%. I know there's more. Uh, I've never actually gone for the secret ending in this game, so I'll try for that too. Ow! But if I, like, don't quite finish the synthesis log or something like that, that's okay. Already got the Platinum in Dark Souls 1. Nice! Prepare to Die Edition is awesome because it's strictly single player and it's just you and NPCs, nobody bothering, nobody helping. I played a lot of Prepare to Die Edition, but eventually I, I admit it was too hard for me. Ouch! Speaking of games, as we often are, Jonathan could play. I tried out... Uh, oh, speaking of games, Jonathan could play. I tried out Dragon Guard 3, pretty good game. The gameplay is fun in small doses. It was an oddly relaxing time until toward the end. I've heard from enough people that I shouldn't play Dragon Guard 3 that I'm just going to watch Dragon Guard 3. Spoiler, some chests are locked behind super bosses. That's fine. I'll just beat them. Easy! I mean, it is normal difficulty, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. What am I supposed to do right now? Probably go to the lab, I'm imagining. Oh, graveyard. Yeah, I knew that.
Dark Souls 3 second DLC, one of the bosses called Spear of the Church, which functions the same as the old monk player invasion boss from Demon Souls. Players summoned to play as the boss can't heal with Estus, but get NPC helpers. Oh, that's really cool. Hi, Shu. How you doing? Been a minute. Ow. The requirements for the secret ending get easier if you play harder difficulties. Yes. Lily, did you beat the last boss that- Ah! Ah! How is your sanity? Do you know a lot about the secret ending and other KH games, or should I beware of telling spoilers? Um, I feel like neither. Bug. I don't know much about them, and you can I tell spoilers. Really you Kingdom Hearts is the one IP where I don't care very much about spoilers, because the, uh, like, I've played enough of the games that I feel like whatever I haven't figured out, I'm not going to figure out. And as far as the story goes, it's not good anyway, so I don't care if I know it in advance. They lied to you, you should totally play it. Are you going... Are you going to... I don't know what that is. Sorry, turnip boy. I, I need you to restate the question. I get annoyed by the multiplayer in Dark Souls games because sometimes I do want to play with a friend, but getting attacked by other players is very annoying. Yeah. the spirit, and I have the perfect plan already in mind. Dragon Guard 3's gameplay ranges from kind of mindless to insanely annoying. Have you ever heard of Christmas Town? Mr. Oogie, wake up, wake up! We want Spoilers, to Sora is anymore. everything, yeah. I, I was thinking about it, and there there are so many things that, that happen just because Sora. I, I mentioned it on the Discord. It is Sora Josh, too. It, like, we've got, okay. Kingdom Hearts spoilers incoming. I will wave my hands when I stop talking about them like this. Um, Sora there they are. is the reason that Ventus could survive with part of a heart. He's why Roxas had a heart. He's why Shion had a heart. He's why he himself was able to stop being a heartless. He's why Kairi was able to stop being a heartless. And like, none of it is because of any action he took. It's just because he is Sora. What does it even mean to be chosen by the Keyblade when later it's retconned that there are dozens of Keyblades? What does that mean? It's just, it's all Garbo. It's total Garbo. The entire plot is Sora is special because he decided to be. Actually, he didn't decide to be. Sora is special because Nomura decided he was. Speaking of expectations, as early as Kingdom Hearts 2, I feel covet man covert mandates from Disney secretly tied down and stymied any heavier, s serious direction Square Enix and Nomura wanted to take the story. I don't know that that's true. I just don't have much faith in Nomura as a writer, I'll be honest with you. Lingering Will, the secret boss of Kingdom Hearts 2 in Disney Castle. Oh, I've never even heard of that. Lost my sanity on Chain of Memories recently. I think just playing through Rechain of Memories is fun, but trying to get the trophies is a nightmare. I bet it is, jeez. Did Kyrie ever have a Heartless? No, she didn't, because she was in Sora very conveniently. It's still not clear to me why Namine exists. Oh, that's right, because didn't she, like, lose her heart when she came to Destiny Island somehow in a way that doesn't make sense, and also didn't become a Heartless? Just, the rules are always different for the main characters. Why did the Keyblade suddenly go to Riku at the end of the first game? That doesn't make sense. Nothing that involves the main three characters makes any sense in any of the games. And in the first game, that was okay, because it was a kid's game and the plot wasn't very complicated. From the second game on, it was like, guys, you either have to make this make sense or you need to dumb it way the fuck down. Choose. And they didn't choose, and it stayed bad. I have thoughts about Kingdom Hearts. Good. But God bless her, Yoko Shimomura didn't take a break. Kairi had no darkness, because princess status, so no heartless. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense, almost. 
Yeah, it still doesn't make sense how Namine was born from her and Sora merging, because it doesn't make sense how her and Sora merged. Nothing else like that has ever happened in Kingdom Hearts before or since. Even harder than Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts 1? Jesus. Well, I'll give it a shot. Birth by Sleep even changes it that apparently everyone who isn't Sora just got handed their Keyblades by irresponsible adults who chose horribly, so why was Sora the only chosen one? That's a really good question! RNG of trying to get every card to drop is awful, I bet. Sora didn't save himself from being a heartless. It oh, I forgot to wave my hands when I was done talking about spoilers, but I don't think anybody cared. Uh, Sora didn't save himself from being a heartless. It was Kyrie. Kyrie never had a heartless. Okay, fine. Well, I am behind on my preparations. All right, tell Jack I'll be waiting for him at home. He had something to say to me about Christmas. But that's just it. Please. Go home and lock the door. And if Jack knocks, don't open it. There. The large when you're warning somebody not to open the door for your boyfriend, you should probably dump your boyfriend. That's right. Lock him up at once. Then begin. Ask me a question about Kingdom Hearts lore. I can probably give an answer. Okay. Here's a question. Um. Why was Kyrie able to turn Sora back from being a heartless? I don't mean like I d I know that she loved him and so like the the love blah 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 blah. I mean nobody else has ever just stopped being a heartless ever. Why was Kyrie suddenly able to do that and why has she not been able to do it since? Keyblade went to Riku in Kingdom Hearts 1 because at that moment his will was stronger than and the Keyblade choosing the strongest wielder, if I'm wrong, correct me. No, you're correct. That is the reasoning. It's it's just um it contradicts everything else we know about the Keyblade. Especially because in that moment, Sora was still trying his best in earnest and Riku was already on the dark side. It didn't make sense. Kingdom Hearts is one of those series that survives on emotional resonance rather than logic. Yes, I fully agree. Like, I still love Kingdom Hearts, that's why I'm playing it right now. It's just bad. <laughs> I, I have a similar but different relationship with Skyrim. Skyrim is... Like, Kingdom Hearts is fun, but the story is bad. Everything about Skyrim is bad. But I love that game, too. Because it's Skyrim. Sora wasn't chosen. I have, I I have um, uh, conflicting evidence about that. Where is it? A boy chosen by the Keyblade. So I don't believe you. The music helps so much with the emotional resonance. Absolutely, it does. I can't believe I happened to read that journal entry earlier. That was perfect. Sora had Ben's heart. The Kingdom Key was originally Riku's Keyblade, but when Riku fell to darkness, it went to Sora. But why did Riku have it? Still, it, it doesn't make sense that some Keyblades choose their masters and others don't. It's never explained. Nomura said JK later. <laughs> DDD drives me crazy. Still, gameplay was fun, but the story is impossible for me to get. But that's like retcons. Yeah, that's true. There, there's definitely retcons galore in Kingdom Hearts. Um, what am I supposed to do right now? Oh, probably go to Christmas Town. I don't know. To be fair, it's Jiminy's journal. Since when is he in omnipotent? Yeah. <laughs> the boy just knows what he's told. You know, there's there's truth to that. For the Kyrie save thing, coming up next from Turnip Boy. 
Uh, Birth by Sleep, I think the Keyblade lore and Inheritance stuff just kept getting more confusing. Yeah. That's when I really started losing track of what a Keyblade was. And then in Kingdom Hearts 3, again, like, I haven't played it, so there's a lot of context I'm missing from Kingdom Hearts 3, but from the cut context and the, uh, the cutscenes I've seen, I'm just like, wait, why are there Keyblades there? Why does that person have a Keyblade? Where'd that Keyblade come from? What's a Keyblade anymore? What's even a Keyblade anymore? In Kingdom Hearts 1, I knew what a Keyblade was. I heard they dumbed down Sora especially hard for Dream Drop Distance. That's... That's funny, because he's already pretty fucking dumb in Kingdom Hearts 2. In Kingdom Hearts 3, everyone has one! Even Axel! Yeah, I was shocked that Axel had one. Jiminy wrote those archived, so that could still be misinformation. I never thought about Jiminy as an unreliable protagonist, but he is. You're right. An unreliable narrator? I think he is. I think he counts as one, yeah. Clumsy oaf. Terra bestows Riku the Keyblade in Birth by Sleep. Oh, that's true. So long as the champion, the one... As you champion the ones... the you love, Have he you can wield the kingdom key, but the kingdom key wasn't Terra's, right? Mm. So I still don't get it. Kairi is a princess of light, basically a pure heart of light, and for some reason Kairi using that power saved Sora. Yeah, again, it's the for some reason part that I'm making fun of. Terra gave Riku the ability to wield the Keyblade. Okay, I get that. I, that actually does make sense, yes. But I still don't know why it was the Kingdom Key, as opposed to Terra's Keyblade. I also don't understand why Roxas was able to inherit Chion's Keyblade, because I thought the whole thing was that, like, Roxas kind of couldn't use the Keyblade and Chion kind of couldn't use the Keyblade, because Sora's one Keyblade was being split between them and it couldn't do that. But then, at the end, Roxas has both of them. So... Uh, is Sora is a complete idiot in Dream Drop Distance. That boy lacks even the slightest hint of social intelligence. <laughs> Too dumb to live. Oh, man. The Keyblade is the friends we made along the way, or it's the key of the embedded. Dark Souls 2, hey! Kind of dumb in Kingdom Hearts 2, but he at least had spunk and sass. That's true, he does. In DDD, he's dumb and loses that spunk for the most part. Great. Thanks, DDD. Keyblade is stand-in for lightsaber. Yes. Kingdom Hearts 4, do you think they'll include Star Wars characters? I hope not. That Santa close-up. Too lazy to model cloth to gag him with, so they just obscured his mouth with his beard and made him mumble like an idiot. Yeah. Dream Eater? That's a weird name to his new ally while he is surrounded by enemies. I still don't know what the Unversed are in Birth by Sleep. Like, they they don't even really try to explain it. I, I don't think there's... I, I think, like, one time Xehanort says the word Unversed or something, and that's it. Like... Aqua, Ventus, and Terra, as far as I know, never actually even acknowledge the Unversed in any formal sense. They're just like, oh man, we gotta fight these Unversed. What the fuck are Unversed? I, I think it says something about, like, they're the, the manifestations of negative emotions. Okay, then where did they go when the Heartless became an issue? I get that the answer is just, like, the game needed enemies. I get that. But what the fuck? Hi, Gentalia. Genet- Jana- Jesus Christ, I almost said your name out loud. I'm not gonna do that. Axel having a Keyblade is so annoying. It doesn't make sense, does it? Roxas uses the Keyblade of both Sora and the other Keyblade because of Ventus. I don't know, weird stuff, but cool. <laughs> Uh, they come from Vanitas, if I remember correctly. Oh, that would actually be kind of cool. The Unversed are basically special fart minions of Vanitas that only he can summon. Okay, that actually does make sense. Again, this is making more sense than I thought, and I will give it credit there. 
Terra doesn't give his Keyblade to Riku, just the power to wield it later on in life. So I, I still don't understand where the Kingdom Key even came from. Like, why does it choose its owner and other Keyblades don't? Where did it come from? Who owned it before Riku, if anybody? Why did Sora get it and not Kairi? Well, Kairi was gone, I guess. But why did it not go back to Riku at any point? Why does Riku have a different one? It, it doesn't make sense. None of it makes 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 sense. I'm just going to keep repeating that like a broken record. I refuse for it to make sense. It can't. It won't. Jen is fine. We'll call you Jen. If, Ke if Star Wars 4... If Star Wars is in Kingdom Hearts 4, the characters will probably appear, though. Just depends, I guess. Yeah. The unversed are the negative emotions of Vanidas, the hatred given form of Vanidas who vanished when Ventus killed him. Got it. Still not s totally certain who Vanidas is, but you know, that that's mostly on me. Because Nording. <laughs> Wait, they come back in Kingdom Hearts 3? Jesus. <laughs> you and I have a score to the manga does the story better than the games. That's probably true, because the manga had only one goal, and that was storytelling. What are you planning to do with Sandy Claus? Who? Sandy I watched the Shion theme vid with my boyfriend, and now I'm even more interested in playing the first game. Nice! I'm glad you played. A uh, huge fan of Kingdom Hearts R. I'm not sure what Kingdom Hearts R is. Um, get out of my head, get out of my head. Hi Vincent, how you doing? I'm good. Vanidus is be basically evil Sora. Yeah, I got that part. I didn't get the rest of it. A Vader fight would be cool at least, but everything else would be a worse version of the movies. <laughs> yeah. Gotta make a character in D&D called Jennifer Tallulah? I don't get it. That leg scene makes no sense in this context. <laughs> I don't have a Donald impression to go, I'm sorry. Kingdom Key and Keyblade seem to be the only Keyblades to be alive. Yeah. Vanitas is the dark side of Ventus, where Ventus is full of light and hope. Vanitas is his evil side who got extracted by Xehanort before the main story. Oh! I didn't know it was before the main story. Wait, I thought the whole reason that he has to go to sleep at the end of Birth by Sleep is because his heart is incomplete. How was he going through the whole game with an incomplete heart? I'll squash you flat! Away you go! Hi, buddy! Bonnie Dust was supposed to be darkness from Ventus that Xehanort somehow just sucked out, but then the mobile games changed it. They changed it? I thought that's what he was! Ventus was broken before the game and... Wait, so... Vanita, hold on. Ventus was broken before the game and took refuge, refuge in Baby Sora's heart. Okay, yeah. Uh, but then he's out of it. So wait, he went into Baby Sora's heart before Birth by Sleep, and then still was outside of Baby Sora's heart at the same time while his heart was crossing over. Well, God, this makes. The more you guys explain this, the less sense it makes. And that's not your fault. You can probably make up some term and I would probably believe it. It's possible, but I think I know all the terms. I just don't know how they fit together. And neither does Tetsuya Nomura, because he's not a good writer. Baby Sora somehow helped his heart heal at the start of Birth by Sleep, but then it didn't 
work later, but then it still did, and Vani Dust looked like Sora even though Sora hadn't connected with Ventus yet, so it didn't make sense why there would be a connection between them. Cool, got it. Uh, no, this is just standard difficulty. I'll probably do Proud or Crit mode in the future, but I just wanted to do a casual run, because it's been a long time since I played Kingdom Hearts 2, and I just want to be nostalgic. Sora healed the broken heart at the beginning of the game. He did the same thing at the end. That's news to me. I didn't know he did it twice. Very cool of him. Spoilers for Union, I guess. Uh, Ventus is actually from like a thousand years ago. Time for traveled forward and doesn't remember. I thought time travel in Kingdom Hearts could only work in, in terms of going into the past. Anyway. Um, Body Dust isn't his natural darkness, he's like an ancient dark ghost that was... <laughs> Guys, stop explaining it to me, I'm just getting more frustrated. <laughs> and again, it's not you, you're doing a wonderful job, and thank you for catering to, to my idle curiosity and, and trying to explain it to, it to me. I'm really impressed by all the knowledge you have, I'm just so frustrated at how badly this is designed. Like. Everything does have a reason, but that reason needs a reason, and that reason is worse. It's just, it's all bad, guys. It's all so bad. I could explain it more concisely, but I'm trying to condense it while being silly. Appreciated. Best enjoyed when you don't think about it. I agree completely. I will stop from this moment on. I also hate the knowledge I have! <laughs> I love that. I do think that Kingdom Hearts knows how to do climaxes really well. I will give them that. I think they have really emotional climaxes and some really poignant moments for the characters. It's just that it's impossible to keep track of the stakes because Nobody keeps track of the stakes. I wish Nobor stayed in concept art. Me too, honestly. I mean, I, I don't, because if he had, then we wouldn't have Kingdom Hearts at all. And I do like this series. I, I keep saying he needs he needs to be like a George Lucas situation where where he comes up with the idea for Indiana Jones but then doesn't write it, you know? Bye. Item slot get. I do love Nomura's character designs. I'm very grateful for Lightning. Make too many belts. <laughs> Mobile games tell a good story, I just hate the retcons. Fair. Uh? <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 4 will be better? Really? A really good story, wow. I think Nomura has great co ideas and concepts, he just needs good writers and editors. Yeah, I agree. Hi, Roxas. Man, I've got the real Roxas in my chat, that's fucking baller. All right, Christmas is Somebody should do a Kingdom Hearts retold. I mean, Barry Kramer kind of did. His videos are kind of fun. Or, or do you mean like a a complete reboot? He's written good stuff though. It's not like he hasn't. Oh, that's good. You want to stick to Halloween and spooky stuff? Spooky stuff. Wonderful! Why, I love it! Thank you, Can't believe the real Roxas is in this chat right now. I know, right? But I make a splendid the the real, real life Roxas. You saved me in Christmas as well. And for that, I'm very uh, just stopping by. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm honored that, that I was a stop. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 4 will have some ideas. That was formerly Final Fantasy Versus 13. Oh, cool! Nice! It certainly had similarities in the announcement trailer. Like, strong similarities. 
Should just hire Yoko Taro and his team. Kingdom Hearts with a Yoko Taro plot will end us. It would. Yoko Taro's plots don't make a ton of sense either, but they're so much closer to making sense. So much closer. As far as I know, Nomura didn't do the screenwriting for 1 and 2. It was around Birth by Sleep where he basically began ghostwriting everything and it shows... Oh, wow. Interesting. A reboot that makes a little more sense while still being compelling. I would kill for that. That would make me so happy. We both have very important jobs to do, Jack. I have a picture of Yozora on my profile. <laughs> Fun fact, all the HP you have right now is about how much you get in Critical. Wow. How's your summer vacation? Great, I'm not on summer vacation. Oh, you mean Roxas's summer vacation. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean who is Roxas? Roxas is a main character from Kingdom Hearts. Roxas, but except for Yozora. Both of us do our jobs. Halloween needs your attention, and I know Christmas needs mine. Urgently. You're right. I am the master of terror. And if Halloween has become too routine... I leave for five seconds and Santa's a skeleton. Really make them scream. Saw your 13th struggle video months ago. Oh, nice. I'm glad you liked it. I've been looking for you Santa died. But he's also still alive and next to his dead self. That sounds like a Kingdom Hearts plot point. So true. Good luck, Jack Skellington. No, I I actually do get that joke. Well, there he goes. Because uh, I I was very into Versus Thirteen when it was going to exist. I was so excited for that game and sorely disappointed by Final Fantasy XV. Perhaps a bit too festive for our Halloween. Thank you, turnip creature. I'm so confused, but probably only because I get easily confused. No, it, it's because Kingdom Hearts is confusing. Now, Roxas is one of the main characters, but not in most of the games. You only play as Roxas significantly in one game, right? We better get going. Just 358 over two days, that's the only game that's like about Roxas. Which sucks, because he's a great character. Was the one who told you there's no such thing as Santa Claus? Oh, Hi, Void! Yeah. He did yeah, 15 wasn't a bad game, it just wasn't what I wanted. Very best wishes. I heard originally for Nier they were gonna give characters a Kingdom Hearts kind of look. Oh, interesting. No. Thing is, Yoko Taro plots don't make that much sense either, but also the story still can make you cry without knowing all the lore, unlike Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Right. And and that's Yoko Taro's like his intention. Y Yoko Taro's not con terribly concerned about lore, and it does show because he's he's really there to just like tell a story that makes people really emotional, and he is good at that. He's very good at that. It's just people like me really prefer tight lore. Uh, because it, it helps me understand the story without the characters telling me what things mean. And that's just a much richer experience for me. But I like Yoko Taro a lot, regardless. Smash that like button! You better watch out, Riku! I'm coming for your ass! That's what Santa said. So Kingdom Hearts 4 could be a soft reboot. Yeah, I think it, it, I think that would be great. Near characters looking like Kingdom Hearts doesn't sound right on account of Drakengard style. Drakengard is such a beautiful game. My thoughts exactly. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. One of what do you mean, what was that? That made perfect sense, didn't it? Who are you? I asked earlier if you played The World Ends With You. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed your message. Uh, no, I haven't. If you want to see um, the the boss, I I can show it to you on live on crit. I've fought him so many times. I I, I don't need to right now, but thank you for the offer. Kyrie in the plot. What is this nonsense? Clearly a plot hole. 
Oh yeah, that weird whistling that never really gets resolved very much. Wait, who is that whistling? Is it Zigbar? Feels like it would be Zigbar. both miss someone we care about. Hey, I feel like we're friends already. You're not acting very friendly. Double negative combos. Isn't it Riku? Is it? The whistle was Riku calling to both Kairi and Pluto from through the corridor of darkness? What? I don't understand. Hey, welcome to the Discord! Are Riku and Axel working together? A good amount of Kingdom Hearts game after- Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to know. I don't want to know anything more about Kingdom Hearts lore. Don't tell me anything. I'm just gonna get mad. A good amount of Kingdom Hearts games after two were made on a whim. 358 over two days was made because Nintendo wanted a Kingdom Hearts game for the DS and Coded was made because of Disney Japan. I didn't know that, that's funny. I remember when I was very into 358 over two and I was starting to discover the internet. I. Uh, I, I tried to look into Kairi to understand her character. Needless to say, she remained a mystery to me. As a kid, all I knew about Kairi was that she and Sora deserved to be together, and that was enough. Played the Neo demo, and I would play the whole thing if not for the price tag. No, I'm not worried that you're going to cheese it or anything. I just really like exp uh, experiencing things organically for the first time, because I can only do the first time once. What is that? Is it a plot device? Seriously. Don't get mad, get glad. It would be nice for 358... Um, Sorry, I, I learned it's 358 days over 2, even though that's not how it's written. Um, I, I, I would love for a remake of that, because I, I didn't get to play it on DS. But why did Nomura have to make them matter? Seriously, it did... It did feel like a money-making ploy. Which is what it was. But like, I'm, I'm totally fine with cross-platform games, but... It, it really is... It, it, it's just wrong, frankly, to... To split up your story over, what? One, two, three... Four different consoles? Plus browser and mobile, so five or six. It's wrong. You're making it so that like upper middle class and rich people are the only people who can actually fully experience your story. That's fucked up. Oh, bye, turn up. Thanks for coming. Burr, burr, pew, pew, burr. Thank you for letting me ramble. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you for coming. I really like the integration of The World Ends With You in Kingdom Hearts, and I'd be down for more of that. Uh, that was in Dream Drop Distance, right? I I did look up stuff about um, The World Ends With You because it, it seemed cool in concept um, from what little we see in, in Kingdom Hearts. Um, it I looked into it, and it didn't seem like the full game would actually be my speed but uh, I, I like the concept and character designs. Kingdom Hearts is a story for rich people, changed my mind. Kingdom Hearts Dynasty Warriors, that would be wild.
These levels are so hyper simulating, I love it. I was lucky enough to have friends that would let me borrow their games and systems, so that was the only way I managed to keep up with the games. That's awesome! I would have loved uh, 358 over 2 Remake. The gameplay structure works for how the story is told, even if it's repetitive, but we do need a revamp of the crunchy graphics. We really seriously do. Wait, I... I don't understand your question, Eloy. Is it 358 days overplayed of two people? I, I don't... I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> uh, Roxas and Axel's hair spikes fucking stabbed my eyes out through the screen. And it wasn't even a 3DS game. Sykes must have been top one in Kingdom Hearts Dynasty Warriors. Yeah. Song of the South, Sora tackles racism? Oh god. Uh, he hadn't- he didn't have to make them matter, but I think he, that was mainly done to re-incentivize hardcore Kingdom Hearts fans to buy them. Yeah, I- I definitely see the, the marketing strategy there. I get it. I just think it's fucked up. I'm not saying it was thoughtless, I'm saying it was fucked up. <laughs> uh, I feel- ah! I feel lucky that I got into Kingdom Hearts when I was already an adult and the HD c collections were coming out. Oh, interesting. Uh, I- I have a friend who wishes he grew up with Kingdom Hearts because he thinks he would have had a chance of liking it as a kid, but he hates them as an adult. And I think that also makes sense. Birth by Sleep probably should have been a PS3 game. It, I mean, the... The remake that, not the remake, but the the version of it that's in Kingdom Hearts 1.5, honestly, it, it feels like, um, it feels like a PS3, well, it feels like a PS2 game, but still, it, it plays much better than I would expect for something that was on the PSP originally. I feel like this Kingdom Hearts, uh, this next arc will be much shorter. I hope it is. I really hope it is. Mean. Oh no, if I just spin, I don't get hit. There we go. Bye, Vincent. Thanks for coming. Just still collecting the metal points. I didn't get to play all of Kingdom Hearts games back when they came out. Birth by Sleep was really the only one I was actually upset about being on PSP because it was the only thing I wanted to play on that system. Same. Hyrule Warriors is great, both of them, and so is Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. I'm not going to comment on Fire Emblem Warriors 1. I haven't played any of them. Plot twist, their pillows have holes to accommodate the sharp spikes and they never move around while sleeping. Jeez. Feeling optimistic? I don't know if I'm feeling optimistic, but I am intrigued. I'm definitely intrigued by Kingdom Hearts 4. I'm convinced DDD was only made because Nomura wanted to make something. 
Literally got into Kingdom Hearts because of Simple and Clean. That's a good reason. Also seems like they're planning out the story. That's wonderful. I hope that's true. My favorite song of the g gummy ships of Kingdom Hearts 2 stages. It's really fucking good. Honestly, the part I like most about the continuing lore of Kingdom Hearts is the Master of Masters I. I don't know what that is. I know who the Master of Masters is in concept, but not in practice. I'm not saying the PSP was a bad system. I actually, I, I, it's not fair to say that there wasn't anything else I wanted to play on PSP. I really liked Patapon a lot. I'm legit. But PSP didn't have a major draw for me. Gorge fillers. He looks pretty sad. Maleficent still deserves a comeback after what they did to her in 2 and after all that build up in 3. Deserves one, sure. I don't know if she'll get one. Look, lukewarm tape. Sanctuary sounds way better than simple and clean. I do prefer simple and clean, but I don't know if that's because of nostalgia or not. No need to uh, pit two perfect songs against each other. Fair point. No, it does not stand for Dance Dance Distribution. It stands for Dream Drop Distance. The City of Final Fantasy is probably my favorite game on PSP. I did play a bit of Dissidia because my, my sister had a PSP, uh, and I did enjoy it. Dissidia was cool. Sanctuary was good, really good, though I prefer Passion, the Japanese single version. I don't remember um, having a strong preference between the two. I listened to both of them a lot when I was a kid, but it's been a long time now since I heard Passion. Kingdom Hearts rhythm game that plays like DDR. Has anybody played the memory melody of memory or whatever it's called? I've heard that it's okay. This way. His eye can see the future and the lore goes that way with it pl plot holes because the eyes show so. My favorite version of Simple and Clean is still the Ray of Light remix. I don't know what that one is, actually. It was fun? That's good to hear. Fun story about Sanctuary. So I played 358 when I was a kiddo. I took It took me a while to finish, so when I got to the end, I heard Sanctuary after the battle. I was so confused, because... I, I assume there's more, I, maybe, I'm guessing you were gonna say because you could feel that it was like poignant, but you didn't know why. Oh, fragmentary passage version, nice. Melody of Memory is just okay. I don't play rhythm games, to be honest. I played through it once and had no desire to return to it. I really like rhythm games, but because I've played a lot of them, it's easy for me to like, play it one that's just okay and drop it pretty quickly because I have like my favorites. Dance Donald Duck. Oh, it plays remix at the very beginning of the game. I didn't know that. I'll buy these eventually. I, I don't know. I like buying things just to have them, honestly. 
Just to have one of everything. Feels good. I'm not even gonna equip any of them. I know they're better than what I have equipped, but honestly, on standard difficulty, the game is easy enough that I don't want to go through menus right now. I just don't feel like it, you know? Ice cream beat? I don't know anything about that. I don't know what that is. Buying things just to have them is a valid reason. Thank you. Small argument about who's the strongest mage in Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts? There's a lot of valid options. How did I get four of these? Guard piercing attack on a slightly distant target. What does that mean, slightly distant? Miles better than the kart racing and fruit ball games. Uh, do you mean in Birth by Sleep? Because fruit ball was fucking awful. I did finish the final difficulty, but boy, did I hate doing it. Oh, Ice Cream Beat from Birth by Sleep. Oh yeah, that was definitely de better than the others. Definitely better than the others. It was very monotonous and repetitive, but it was still better than Fruit Ball by Miles. Donald is the strongest mage. That's a hot take. Is there any way we can help you out? I think we're all right for now. And you always I haven't played for 16. Oh, he hasn't been himself lately. <laughs> I'm not sure. Usually, he's the same cheerful Aladdin. But sometimes, he just seems sad. This was a weird casting decision for Jasmine. He goes off by himself all the time. I've asked him about it, but he says nothing's wrong. She doesn't sound anything like she did in the movie. Again today. I'll be going now. Have a nice evening. Time. Definitely join the next stream and watch the videos. All right. Thanks for coming, Eloy. I hope you enjoy them. I'll, we'll see you next time. The chat is lively tonight. Or today. Or this morning. Or this afternoon. I guess not this morning. That's the thing. Iago's not... Bye, Lily. Thanks for coming. I'm glad you got to stay so long. Nice move. Maybe it's something you said. <sighs> Gee, maybe we should Glad to have you here, El Bruja. He's gotta be somewhere in There's actually a very strong argument for Donald being the strongest mage, but I don't want to give you a headache. <laughs> You're so thoughtful. It's just funny to think about that even being an option, you know? Hi, Sora. Come back here! Or myself. If you can't control that furball, put a leash on him. Look, I'm sorry. You should be ashamed of yourself, Abu. Uh, no hard feelings? <laughs> Why are his eyes like that? Abu? Kingdom Hearts compels people to say their opinions, both good and bad, such as its power. Hey guys, uh, sorry about earlier. I was kind of What's wrong with his eyes? Why are everybody's eyes fucked? You know, Abu, he couldn't keep his paws off that lamp. No talking your way out of this one. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get it? Cause, cause he's not saying words. <laughs> Anyway. Opinions are the darkness in Kingdom Hearts fans' hearts. <laughs> so true. No! 
No way! Time for me to go, unfortunately, this was a lot of fun. Good to have you, Rat, and I hope you come by again. I don't say that in like a... Whenever I say stuff like that, I'm like, oh no, now they're gonna think I expect that. No, no, I don't mean it like that. It, it will be good to see you again if you decide to come again. No, I'm not cheating on Jasmine. I just miss the genie. I would cheat on Jasmine with the genie. Gay <laughs> Latin. Good job, Abu. I don't care. If I have Aladdin in the party, then I won't be able to use both of my... I, 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 I'm not gonna use Wisdom Form anyway, but I want Donald to heal, and I want Goofy for Valor Form, which I forgot to use in the entire previous world. This track is so good. <laughs> Valor form neglect. It's a good form. Hi, Endless. You know Jasmine is played by the same voice actress as in the movies. Really? Really? She sounds completely different here than she did in the 90s movie. You can change the party mid-battle in the command menu. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! Ow. Probably bad direction. Might have been. Uh, no, the genie is not done by Robin Williams. They could not afford that. <laughs> I think grinding drives is worth it. Yeah, I I think so too. Uh, it's just hard for me to think about actually efficient and useful gameplay when I'm also reading chat, which... Uh, you guys like to make fun of me for s saying that I'm blaming you for, for my, like, degraded playing, but uh, no, it's, it's because I would rather talk with you guys than play the game properly. That is my choice that I have made. When I'm playing offline, I do I do grind the drives. I think it's fun. How do I? How do I? Maybe I need the magnet spell. Oh nope. Just gotta persevere! Genie's voice by Homer Simpson? I hear it. Wisdom Form was always so fun, pew pew. Yeah, I think Wisdom Form is really cool, and it looks amazing. Uh, I'm just not well specced for it with the gear I have equipped. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Not here, right? Not here. Not here, right? Not here. Not here, right? Not here.
Not here, right? Oh. Well. How annoying was it to collect the gameplay footage for Swim This Way for April Fools? I mean, it was fine. I only had to do it a couple times. I did that on this stream, so about that hard. It was worse to edit it. You need a better finisher? Okay. The default ground finish attack is not strong enough to destroy the stalls. Apparently it is! Max level dodge roll be like, what's a hitbox? <laughs> kind of wish the movement abilities were unlocked without the drive forms. It's a bit grindy. I, I honestly don't mind it too much because the it without an incentive to use the drive forms, I would keep forgetting to. Catching your attention with caps. You should keep a pinned message linking your discord, to, uh, linking your second profile so people can join. For oh, that's a good idea. I will do that in the future. Thank you, Roxas. Hi, Angel. Did I just accidentally applaud? I, hmm? Oh, no, I used aerial finish? Okay, whatever. Whatever works, whatever works, whatever works, whatever works. Tired and wasting time before work. Sorry you're tired. Sorry you have to work while you're tired. Treasure, that could be tricky. There's lots of the palace. Uh, maybe pin both the second channel and the Discord. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, I'll do that starting next stream. I don't feel like doing it right now. <laughs> I know that's like not the right decision, but I, I don't want to have to like stop stream to get both the URLs. Yeah, it doesn't have to be right now. No, that's a good idea, though. Thank you. I will do that. Hope you can relax your mind just a little bit here. I hope so, too. We, we're supposed to go to the palace, right? Oh, well. I'm going here first. Hey. There we go. See? Better finisher. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yo! I'll plug it for you. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. Jonathan Bartouche is now active and ready for subbing. So go do that. Here, I'll, I'll pin that. But yeah. Watching a dude with excellent taste in video game OSTs play my favorite series ever is more than relaxing. Aw, thank you! I'm happy to offer whatever I can. There! Wait, I already have a map. What's this? Oh! I like maximum AP. I'm not used to things being in chest in big chests that aren't maps. Um, so, wait, which of these should I get rid of? This one. Bum, 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 bum. I need guard break to come back. My dumb messages pinned, life goals met. Wait, what am I missing in the stock? What, what's not being highlighted? Okay, there we go. Wait, now what? Okay, fine. What else can I equip? Allows greater restoration of the drive gauge. Sure. Uh, 
Um, that's that's fine for now. That sounds good. Let's do that. Oh, I got magnet. Nice. We couldn't let things stand like that. One more for the road. Thank you so much. Thank you. That that's a that's a lot in total, actually. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Have a great rest of the day as well. See you next time. Still can't believe we got the actual real life Roxas in my stream. I hope he has a great summer vacation. Small part of me that played through K Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep to show that second chance and once more is basically so long as I have at least two HP, you can't kill me with combos. Yeah. Yeah. He even did the elbow pose. Gotta do the elbow pose. Tears, they won't stop. Okay, I already saved, but then I did a lot of management stuff, so I might as well do it again. And I gotta refill my water. One second, I just gotta reach over. It's nice having water so nearby now. Hydrate. I command you to hydrate. I love fighting mysterious figure in BBC BBS. Fuck, I said the thing. And getting ganged up on by P stream. What are you talking about? Getting ganged up on by all his shadow clones and getting stuck in a thousand hit combo and not die. That's a pretty great feeling. Does anyone have a favorite song from a world in the series? Mine is the Hollow Bastion theme from Kingdom Hearts 1. It's hard to beat that one. It's hard to beat that one. I think that's my favorite as well. I do like the spin on it that um, the the Kingdom Hearts 2 track gives Hollow Bastion slash Radiant Garden, but it it really is just so good in Hollow Bastion in Kingdom Hearts 1. It's so good. That might eventually be a video too. I don't want to make any promises because there's just so much on the docket. But that would be a fun video to make. 8-Bit Music Theory already talked a little bit about it, but there's definitely more to cover. Stranded Beyond from Kingdom Hearts 3? I need to listen to that still. Lazy Afternoons is your favorite world theme? That's a nice one. Very nice oboe. Ah. 
Hey, remember in Aladdin when Kingdom, uh, when the Cave of Wonders looks like this ever? Yeah, me too. It does look cool though. Like, I'm not actually bashing it. I think this looks awesome. Lazy Afternoons hits different. Afternoon Streets is good as well, yeah. I'm a student and I have this ritual of listening to that song on repeat as I sleep the night before my new semester. That's so nice! I love that. Wait, why isn't my retaliating slash working? Why isn't my retaliating slash working? I didn't unequip it, did I? It's over. Hello? Retaliating slash. What the heck, man? Oh. No, shut up. I'm trying to get a s puzzle piece. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I got it just in time. Hold that thought, Heartless. I've got a puzzle to put together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, got it, okay. I think that's gonna be... No, maybe that. Let's do that. Pizzle poos. <laughs> It only works if you if it knocks you away. Oh, I thought it worked anytime you were hit in the air. My bad. I love how my brain rot is so deep that I looked away from stream for a second and knew you were fighting soldiers because of the hit sound effects. Uh, they are iconic sounds, aren't they? Ouch, ouch, stop, stop! Jeez, I'm not doing this well. Stop! Leave me alone. <laughs> nice work, Goofy. Way to go, Goof. Never stop, stop, not stopping. Ne never. 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 Good job, everybody. Go team. I wanted to stay. I wanted to say it on DS, but I'll write it here. Uh, oh, Discord. The first ten seconds of Vector to the Heavens are incredibly special, in my opinion. They're uh, the musical representation of the mental numbness that confuses right before realizing the fight that happens. When the violins kick in, Shion's theme plays, you realize the urgent, imminent objective. That's a nice way to look at it. I do think it's it's possible to recognize it as Shion's theme before the violins come in. Well, not before the violins come in, because they immediately come in. But, um, like, even though the piano sounds very different, it is the same melody that starts her normal theme. Every sound in Kingdom Hearts is iconic. If you don't know them all by heart, you're not doing it right. Goofy R's Arcanum. I think the only times I've cried during a game are when 
uh, Shion's theme plays as she's fading away, and at certain times when Kaine's Salvation played. The only times I've played, I've cried during a video game are most of the time. I cry a lot during fiction of any kind. It's incredible. I remember one time I was watching a movie. I don't even remember what movie it was. That's how forgettable it was. It was not a good movie. But it still made me cry because of how the soundtrack was used in the emotional climax. And I was like, Fuck, you didn't earn this. God damn it. How dare you make me cry for insufficient reasons. Listening to Vector of the Heavens now, 20 seconds in, and I haven't cried, I'm proud. <laughs> nice! Um, oh, Final Fantasy X. I think that one made me cry. I genuinely can't remember. But wow, that ending stings. It's such a good ending, don't get me wrong. But it hurts. So deeply. Cry with Jonathan stream? All of my Ori streams have been Cry with Jonathan streams. The entire non-Disney se section of Kingdom Hearts 3 was just me sitting in a puddle on the floor because of the reunions, all. Such sweet sorrow. Yeah, Final Fantasy X has an excellent ending. Truly excellent. And... <laughs> Final Fantasy games don't always stick the landing, so that's quite an achievement. Crisis Core had me bawling. I I don't actually know anything really about Crisis Core. I know that it's a spin-off of Seven. That's all you need to know, right? That's basically the whole story. We must hydrate before we cry with Jonathan, so we have enough fuel to cry for hours! Never stop. Never stop crying. Oh no! No! Now I'm gonna cry. That is the price of freedom. Is it a map? Oh my god, I can't believe it! Yeah, whatever. I wanna use this AP boost. Gotta do it again, or I won't have the puzzle piece. Big chests are a scam. The The time that I got a skill ring out of one earlier this stream is the only time something interesting has ever been in one. Other than that, it's only been maps and one torn page. I don't even use the maps in Kingdom Hearts 2. You can't even look at a whole map at once. It's just a mini map. Why would that be in a big chest? He was wrong the first time, so he had to course correct. Ouch. Ouch. Gimme puzzle piece. Such a good track. It's so good. Yeah! It's hard to do that without depth perception, but we manage. Kingdom Hearts 1 would have needed those maps more than 2 did. That's true, Kingdom Hearts 1 had some labyrinthine areas. 
Next time you play Ori, that stream should be called Cry with Jonathan. I probably won't cry in the next Ori stream, though, assuming there is one, because we've already hit both of the points in the game that make me cry regularly. It's just those two. Large chests are one of three things. Map, meld recipe, nort ports. There. That one should do it. I like the second one because it lets me make transcendence. Pretty gravity magic to go burr. At least in this game, sometimes the big chests have equipment, but like pretty good equipment. Yeah. Every so often. Price of Freedom is sad too, but the ending where Y plays always gets me. Yeah. I get that. Hey, snap out of it, Donald. Uh, by end battle, are are you talking about Ori and the Blind Forest? Um, I was playing the first game on stream. Um, I have not played any of the second game on stream, but I have played both of them offline, fully. Because it's a video game. I haven't been using drive. Ah, stop. No, stop. Ow, stop. Stop. Hey. Shit, stop. Jeez. How dare they attack me, as they are programmed to do. It's over. This is it. I think I just stabbed him in the crotch. I would hate that too. Let's go. Oh, I, I don't remember if the ending of Ori and the Blind Forest made me cry. It might have, but I don't think it did. I don't know. I definitely loved it. I thought it was wonderfully done. I just don't know if it made me cry. You can't drive without a license. <laughs> Wisdom form would have gone gone right through their shield. Yeah, that's probably true, actually. Since we were talking about my favorite world music in Kingdom Hearts, I started thinking about the hub world and area music of uh, World of Final Fantasy. I don't think I know that one. Bum, 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 bum. I'm bringing it up because uh, if you were lucky, you could have gotten the Sora Summon DLC for World of Final Fantasy. I don't think I've even heard of World of Final Fantasy. Not all screaming, I did it. Pokemon Final Fantasy, huh, all right. Is 
さあバイ I like these Heartless a lot, the ones on the like floaty balls. They're just very like pretty and agile. I love Lightning Returns. That's one of the few games I've platinumed. May Donald haunt everyone's dreams tonight. I love how we go from Donald casting middling thunder spells to becoming the single most powerful black mage in the extended Final Fantasy canon. <laughs> it's mine. Do you know the exact name of the song? I've played it before. I've played it so I don't... I know what you're talking about but can't find it. Oh, for, um... Uh, got it for, for gotcha. World of Final Fantasy. No fair! No fair. Thanks for just holding it still in the air for like a minute, Pete. That was kind of you. Nice one, Iago. Way to go. Look behind you. Hey, Iago, fly up. Hey, did you know you can fly up? Or into a wall. Sure. That works too. For some reason, I have two lines of the Swedish dub of the Pokemon song stuck in as the lyrics I remember, but I've never watched the show in Swedish, so no idea how the phrase got there. That's weird. I certainly do not know the Swedish theme of Pokemon. Meanwhile, the main crew does nothing the whole time. They let the tiny bird do it. Yes, I also confuse Pete for Aladdin. Yes, I also make that mistake very regularly. I fucking love Masashi Hamauzu! I'm eating the cliff bar now. I know it's a slapstick joke, but I don't even feel it believe feel it's believable by those standards. Blinded by Light is a phenomenal track. I'm absolutely making a Blinded by Light video, just don't know when. But it's happening. Genie and Aladdin got some tension going on. Yeah, I'll uh, pass them over, thanks. Fire a gun! Whatever works. I like how they're fat and skinny at the same time. That's that's just a really cool design. Oh, oh. Bye. Bye. They're wearing balloons. Sunlit waterscape is very pretty, yeah. You, you mess with 
me for the last time. I'm gonna get you yet. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Yeah, the, the piano in that track is really beautiful. I remember one time I booted up Final Fantasy 13 for the first time in years. And as soon as the title screen music started playing, I immediately was crying. Chapter 6 is probably the happiest chapter in Final Fantasy 13. Nothing bad happens. Aladdin was going to the market so often because he missed Genie. Now he's got Genie back and he's like, nah, I'm going back to the market anyway. You somehow make me want to confront my fears and play in Final Fantasy VII Remake again. I really want to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. Partly because of Masashi Omalzu. I have retrieved my cereal. Congratulations! Donald, you piece of crap. The moral of this story is that Aladdin is a bad boy, <laughs> just an absent partner in all contexts. You have a PS4, but not the game? That is correct. I also have a PC, but not the game. Sora? What is it? I think it's time for us to go. We already knew that. Will you be back? We will, I promise. Cause there's gonna be another plot point here. Weird gemstone said, hey look, it's the world's keyhole. Yeah, I don't know if my PC could handle Final Fantasy VII Remake. It probably could. We're definitely hitting a point where I have to worry about stuff like that, though, because I don't have a solid state drive. Uh, so there is, there are some games whose rendering I just can't do. I asked for a solid state drive for Christmas last year, but then I asked for the wrong thing and ended up with just a really big hard drive. Which is great, like I'm using it, but oops. I guess they just didn't want to animate those. I like how they clearly used the movie as reference for that, but it doesn't quite work in 3D animation, so it just looks creepy. The furry world. Yeah, 
Yep, that's how... That's how falling works, you just disappear. You can use magic in this world without stopping movement? That's pretty baller. Probably not Matthew Broderick, right? I doubt they got him for Kingdom Hearts 2. No dialogue, but very... No! Wow, really makes me think. The Lion King is one of Disney's better films, in my opinion. The first one, I mean. Newfie DLC is short and sweet like her. This is kind of creepy, though. Just a clip bar. Heartless? Oh, I don't know, Sora. Oh, I get the feeling they might live here. Don't mind us. Just blasting through. We won't be any trouble. Yeah, Suddenly hyenas. Right. Don't be silly. We love you to stick around for lunch. Um, we didn't bring anything to eat. <laughs> oh, sorry, you naive you fool. Gorse, Sora. I think we're the lunch. What are you talking about? Lion King two and Co had Kovu, the other furry awakening crew people, played by Jason Marsden, the voice of everything in our childhoods. Whoa. Going somewhere. I learned a few years ago that Jason Marsden also teaches yoga. That man's just Damn, always doing everything. Just let him roll up. Eh. Lion King had both Hans Zimmer and Elton John as musical producers. Of course it was going to be at least relatively good. Yeah, that is a great combo. Some great work from Hans Zimmer in this movie. I'm glad it's over. Like, really great work. <laughs> Everything's harder on four legs. Captain Amelia from Treasure Planet? I found a trick to does she count? As, I guess she does count as a furry just because of her nose. Sora so fast in this world. Sora so fast. Sora so fast. So fast, Sora. I should be making more. I've been trying to make more saves so that, like, if I ever need to capture stuff from specific parts of the game for future videos, I can just do that. Uh, but I've been overriding the same save this entire stream. Oopsie! Never saw Treasure Planet? It's really good! I still love the, the insert song they have in it. Um, I'm Still Here by Johnny... V how do you even pronounce his last name? Rzeznik? What I'm thinking? What do we do? Cam Clark? Um, for Simba, you mean? Run, then skid in a circle nonstop. One save for every world? That's what I was doing, yeah. I was, put, like, making a new save at the beginning of every world, but then on stream I was just like, eh, that requires thought. I don't want to think and stream at the same time. That's hard. Stop. Thanks. There was one Treasure Planet Kingdom Hearts crossover comic that I saw that I can't remember the artist. That sounds kind of interesting. Oh, for Simba. Okay, got it. We're just glad you're okay. Did you see any other heartless? I don't recognize the name Cam Clark for some reason. Suddenly really good, vo like, facial animation. Like, that that was shockingly good face facial animation. I'm Still Here in Italian is sung by a pretty famous pop singer, and it's really cool in the movie. Ooh, nice. Or some bad guys in black hoods. Or maybe this really big bully named Pete. Oh, well. They wouldn't have black hoods in this world, would they? Actually, do we see any organization 
13 members in this world ever? Because they're definitely not lions if they do show up. I would remember that. No, we don't see them. You just saw us beat those heartless, didn't you? Okay. I guess you're right. You could be just what the kingdom needs. Maybe you can help us. You mean take on this Scar guy and all those hyenas? Scar? He took over when our last king, Mufasa. Died. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna check out KH database. Thank you so much. I have never heard of that. I can't believe I couldn't find that. I've made two Kingdom Hearts videos now, and I never found that when I was like searching for stuff. Just go around knocking kings off their thrones. Then again, if they see the cocoon inhabitant voices, nice. They'll ask me to be their next king. Sora. What the fuck, Sora? To refuse, of course. Still, I'd like to see the Pride Lands. So you guys don't mind lending them. Also, not in Atlantica or Space Paranoids. Well, certainly not Atlantica. But that's interesting about Space Paranoid, since they actually have, like, direct influence in that world. She's gonna go on ahead and tell the other lionesses. We're supposed to meet her at a place called Pride Rock. Emperor's New Groove is... Uh, whenever I watch Emperor's New Groove, I'm like, this was somebody's passion project, and they got to make it, and, like, it turned out really well, and that's beautiful. I don't actually know anything about the production team, but just watching that movie, like... There is so much wit and heart and enjoyment and love pumped into that film. It's just, it's really beautiful to see something, like, get that much money put into it that, um, like, clearly, th clearly the creators really, really loved making. I'm sad that it didn't do super well. I'm sad that it, did it even get a th theatrical release? I can't remember. But regardless, that movie is so good. And if you haven't seen The Emperor's New Groove, I really highly recommend it. It's extremely funny. Sora charged with seven counts of regicide, more at 11. No furries in Organization 13. That's a shame. Demix kind of strikes me as a furry. The only crime Emperor's New Groove committed was cutting Eartha Kitt's song. Yeah! I heard that in the OST and I was like, wait, this is great, why don't we have this? Everything that came after could never reach that peak. I kind of agree. I get what you mean, but while that film indeed is a passion project for some, it was also the downfall of another's. Why that? You're saying that like something problematic happened. Did something problematic happen? I could see Demix in a fursuit. Back in ye old early 2000s, there was a series of comics called Demix Puppy that just had Demix being a dog, but as a person. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, Saik's puppy. That makes more sense. I love how they just forgot to put things on this map. Something problematic happened, oh dear. I didn't know that. What about Xemnas in all seriousness in a fursuit going on about his lover, Kingdom Hearts? What? Slightly scared of your deep knowledge of fan fiction and fan made comics? I don't know, that's pretty cool, I think. I'm as scarred as I am enthralled. That does sound a bit scarring. 
now that you mention it. Problematic thing wasn't like drama in the industry or harassment as far as I know, just at first the project didn't get enough attention and resources and then someone else tidied up. Yeah, that, that sounds right because it's not, like it doesn't have the makings of a commercial success, right? It doesn't have the hallmarks of like being easily marketable to a very established audience. But that's part of why it's so wonderful is because like, you know, really, really um, memorable art and stuff that's easy to market are polar opposite of each other, right? Because if something's easy to market, that means that there's already stuff out there like it. That's the problem that we're having now that Spotify is the main way that people listen to music and stuff like it, Pandora and YouTube music. What is it? Because, I told Rafiki you might like, everything is algorithm-driven, and the algorithm's only gonna show stuff that it thinks you'll like, it it and it only knows what you like based on what you've heard, so you only hear stuff you've heard, and stuff king. that is made to and sound like stuff you've heard. Qualities. Meaning... Bye, Crevin, thanks for coming. See you later. Uh, Goofy goes beam. I'm sorry you came all this way. Hey, no, it's okay. I still download and buy music. I need to do more of that. I, I've been using a lot of Spotify recently, and it's not good, but it's an easy way for me to like stay on top of soundtracks as they come out without having to pay for something and realize that I don't actually like it that much. Well, I guess you could do that on YouTube as well. Having looked into it, it's kind of sad to see how one person's whole creative vision was basically almost completely dumped, even though he'd poured so much time himself into it over several years. And Revenant, I gotta be honest with you, that is how show business works. There are so many stories like that. Most things that are good were buried as completely as possible. Yeah. <laughs> because they were not immediately, obviously profitable. And so they were sabotaged. That happened to Treasure Planet too. And I don't know if you guys know the, the show Severance, which is on Apple TV, but that was first written and drafted like in something like 2014. Um, but it, it kept doing well in like contests and stuff, but nobody wanted to make it until Ben Stiller found the script and he was like, I'm going to produce this whole thing on my dollar. And it's a great show and I'm glad we have it. But it sucks that it only came to actual production because a single person was like, I will make this happen. It's fucked up. I love the rapid shifts between Kingdom Hearts cutscene animation and really good mocap. <laughs> yeah. True passion projects can only happen with great personal funding on the part of the creator or a specific investor. Yeah. Sad but true. Sad but true. And it's not like his vision was bad. No, it wasn't. During a fateful board meeting, all hands on deck style, someone else started joking improv style and all the execs decided they wanted that instead. I mean, good for that person, honestly. But it, it sucks when you've only got so many resources and two good ideas come into play. Oh, I forgot that we see Pete as a fucking lion. The horrific sight of Pete the lion is pretty bad. My back? What are you? An old man? Is Pete voiced by the same guy as Tigger? The herds have moved they have extremely the similar voices. No prey. No prey. Then what Suddenly, Lion Pete! I love how no ma matter what the world, Pete stays kind of chunky. Yeah! Well, 
Captain Hello, Justice! Why does he look like that? Oh, run! I, I'm pretty certain Jim Cummings is the voice of Tigger, right? Follow me. I don't know if he's the voice of Pete. Kick his ass, Nala! You go, girl! I still love Ember's new groove, even if I empathize enormously with that creative lead whose vision was collectively set aside and he couldn't remain unaffected. Had to leave the project. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Does indeed voice Pete as well. Nice. I didn't realize that the main creator of Ember's new groove left the project. I'm really sad to hear that, but all the same, I, I have to say that what we ended up with is really good. I mean, that movie's really good. <laughs> it's ahead of its time, too, in terms of, like, subversive humor. It's just, oh my god, it's such a solid film. And John Goodman's voice is always like a warm hug. It's just complicated. Art often is. When did we see Simba like ever? We saw him in the opening cutscene. Oh yeah, Simba did fight alongside Sora. Isn't, isn't the way the fairy godmother explains summons to Sora that it's like, they're, they're lost little lambs from worlds who have been swallowed by the darkness and they have nowhere to go. And then later in the same game, he gets genie, even though Agrabah hey, is fine. You, long face, Simba. you gotta lighten up and live a little. Yeah, yeah. What were you it certainly about? is a world in Kingdom Hearts 2. Past, right? You never summon Simba in Kingdom Hearts 1? He's the first summon you get. I think, I think you have to get it to beat the game. Maybe you just didn't notice? Would you look how he's grown, Umba. Why, when I rescued the little guy, he was only this big. Jim Cummings is a legend, you know, in Anastasia, uh, when Rasputin sings, it's hard to notice that they go from Christopher Lloyd voicing Rasputin to Jim Cummings singing as Rasputin. Oh my gosh! Loved your Song of the Ancients video. Thank you very much for making that video. You're welcome. It's among the best on the platform in terms of near-end soundtrack. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That's really wonderful praise. I'm glad you liked it so much. Thanks for coming to stream. Hope you're having a good day. I never used summons, but Kingdom Hearts 3 Simba feels like an Ifrit analog, and I love it. Yeah, Anastasia is good. What's wrong? Summons aren't very good. They feel very gimmicky. Rafiki was right. What? Never mind, it's not important. Here, I'll show you how. Ariel was supreme summon in Kingdom it. Hearts 3, no joke. Oh. Just found your channel and have been binge watching the video essays. Haven't studied music in years, but your videos make me want to get back in. Nice! Uh, that's awesome. I'm glad that I was able to spark something for you. I've really been enjoying making these, and I will continue to do so as long as I can. This is this is something I'm I'm gonna miss once the live stream switch to a new channel. Is it, it's not gonna be as easy for uh, people like like you, Wagan, and and you, Josco, to to just pop in and be like, hey, I saw your video earlier. Now I'm in a stream, but. The fact of the matter is, most of the people subscribed to my channel don't want to come to the streams, and so I don't want to bug them with notifications about them. I hope to still make it obvious how to stay connected. Oh no! Anastasia was a very weird drawing style. It was a it was an inconsistent animation project, yeah.
in a world where tapping things makes them burst open. One boy. Lots of rotoscoping. Scoping rotes. Yeah, I'm going to be putting Bartouche in all the descriptions from here on. But you're right, I should actually go backwards and do it in, there, in the older ones too. Keyblade has infinite charges of knock without the sound attached. <laughs> what a gross sound effect to use. It's so awkward when you can see the pixelation of their eyelids and you you can see that like the eyes are part of the same texture as the rest of their face. Ew. PS2 graphics. Ew. Rafiki insane confirmed? Oh yeah. Rafiki's definitely insane. It is time. It is time. Did Kay leave already? Yeah, I was wondering that too. I think she did. Sora, hurry! Wait up. So happy to see all these new passionate people joining the live streams. I am too. Started small, but you're growing community. Aw. Yeah. It's been pretty lovely. I'm thinking we'll probably, we're, we're, I'm definitely gonna finish the Pride Lands uh, first story route. Um, then, I don't know, uh, I, I can't remember exactly what happens in the plot after the Pride Lens. I know something does. Uh, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll go a little further than that, but then I'm gonna call it for the day. Depending on accent, did you plan for the tush to sound somewhat like tush? No, what? No, that didn't even occur to me. Your pronunciation isn't quite there, but depending on how one reads the oo sound, well, you could write, read it correctly or incorrectly. <laughs> Your choice. My name's Barouche. Technically, that's incorrect, too, because immigration, but the original was Baruch, which also does not sound like Tush. Choice taken. <laughs> oh, th right, choice made. There we go. I think that's all the treasure in here. Yeah? Looks like it. Yay! Draw! That's a good ability. Doesn't make combat any better, but it just makes things less annoying. Oh yeah, his lion form has special abilities, 
but I can't do any drive in this world? Can I not do drive? I can't do drive. I didn't even notice that because I haven't been using it enough. Draw. Where are you, draw? Draw! I need one more. Do I have an ability? I, I might have an ability. If, yeah, I have two. Okay. Bye, Void. Thank you for coming. Lion form is a drive. Look at that Simba face. Ooh, he's ready. Bye. They're just like, oh, hell no, nah, that's a fucking Simba. lion, bro. It's me, Sora. Donald and Goofy are here too. He never met Donald and Goofy. When you summon in Kingdom Hearts, your friends go away. Sora, Donald, Goofy. You never met them. Uh, I'm mad. <laughs> this isn't lore friendly. What happened to you? Which is a first for Kingdom Hearts. I think that's the same voice actor as they have doing Mushu in this game. Something must have happened in I've been trying to, to stay to mindful to use the correct verb in such context since okay. I've been hearing several non-native English speakers from different countries all converge on the same coincidence. Oh, are people saying they take choices instead of make choices? Is that a common occurrence? That's funny. It's interesting to see, like, as the internet brings more and more voices together, it's interesting to see what dialects might start forming as like languages enter the globe, uh, the global stage more. Eh, eh. I want. I want it. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Try again. Yes. Yeah. Oh take a decision that's a decision that they've made do you see what I did there nice what can I make um let's see what is this exactly I wish it told you like, the stats of the thing that you're thinking about making. Let's make a soldier earring. Use a bright stone. And let's make a garnet ring. Use a bright shard. Moogle leveled up! Make a Thundaga trinket, which I think I already bought, so that's a shame. Let's use both of those. Hell yeah. I should upgrade their, um, weaponry. Oh no! I, oh no, I do have enough money for both. Just barely. Bum ba bum bottom. Soldier earring is good for you. Nice. Highly increases max AP and strength. That's what I like to hear. What's this? Extremely increases max HP. Max AP. So actually. Yeah, Garnet Ring is just strictly better than Skill Ring. Nice. Let's upgrade this. Oh, I guess there is no upgrading it, per se. Um, no, I actually like what I have equipped. Do I indeed have... Oh no, they're, they're two different things. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, I 
think I still want that. Yeah. Victory Bell! At the very least. We'll do that. And then, ah, let's give you a Thundaga Trinket. That sounds fun. No, you need the magic. That's the only thing you're good for. Hmm. Let's do that. I don't know, sure. Use on Sora. Use on Sora. Use on Sora. Bye, Elena. Thank you for coming. Hi, Chris Art. Just caught the stream. Wanted to say that your videos helped me understand music more and made it me want to pick up the violin again. That's amazing. I don't play the violin, but uh, another person in the chat, Pedro, does, and I think it's a, a gorgeous instrument, and I am happy to bring more violin into the world, so that's great to hear. Uh, Alright, so tomorrow's Monday. Alarm clocks are unforgiving. <laughs> Fair. That's the only thing you're good for? No, the only thing he's good for is stealing potions and not giving me duck flare. That's why I don't give them any items. Oh, now there are three! Nice! <laughs> I, too, love violence. It's not what I said. Good thing you haven't heard me play yet. That's not true. You've uploaded a couple things of you playing on the Discord. Never give your NPC party members items. Yeah, it's like never give a moose a muffin. But not playing seriously, that's true. Dream cloud. It looks terrifying. Mm, I guess we can turn uh, Goofy Turbo back on. I definitely want him to know Blizzard, because that's longer range than fire. Okay. Oh good, now I can have Genie. That's amazing. Can't wait to use him a lot. That's where Simba was. Thanks, Jiminy. Wait, there's more? Uh, why isn't there just a, like, mark all as red? Why did Sora, Donald, and Goofy have to show up on every page for every world? That <laughs> I love you guys in the chat. Violence is never the answer. Violence is the question, and the answer is yes. Hey. Almost done clearing out the new stuff. Da 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 da. Living bone! Oh, there's so much things. Wait, how did I miss some? Icy cube. Oh, I've got quite a few of these now. Maybe I can start piecing together what's actually supposed to go together. Here's a corner. Oh wait, actually, does that fit? No. Does that fit? Maybe? I think so. Does that go together? Nice, okay. We're making progress. It's working.
Nope. There we go, those two go together. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's coming together. Those do not go together. That probably goes there. I don't know where these go. Maybe, yeah! And then this is definitely gonna be toward the bottom. Probably there. Nice! Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I gotta catch up. I missed a lot. I just need Shiva and Quetzalcoatl to be summonables in this game and Kingdom Hearts would be irresistible for me. That would be extremely cool. Yeah, Final Fantasy X Shiva would be amazing. Ten years, woo! Nice work. I love the way they reinterpreted the way summons work in uh, 16. I love the idea of playing host to a power beyond mortal ken. Kind of like a warlock in D&D. In hindsight, I'm surprised at how quickly I'm able to type Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> well done. Where does this go? Where do you think, guys? It's probably facing the wrong way. It looks like it's facing the wrong way. I don't know, maybe like that? Maybe that's like Xehanort's hair or something? I don't know. The middle. Fair enough. Right in the middle. It goes where it goes. You guys are so helpful, thank you. Left corner. Warlock, but like you get a weird combo of wild shape and channel divinity. Whoop. Woo. Yeah. I want it. I want it so bad. Huh. Another time then. Uh, I guess I just go back the way I came. And now back to our regularly scheduled Jonathan can't make this jump. <laughs> Simba, wait. It's Nala. Don't you recognize her? Simba's just like, I don't give a shit. Nala? Sorry, my ears were turned off earlier. Kick his ass, Nala. It's me. A real Simba. cat fight. Real. Wow, that was insanely hey, awkward. All of the animations they try to copy from 2D are just so awkward. Don't worry. The tech limitations are definitely part of it, but part of it too is just like trying to bring 2D animation principles into 3D animation. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I had ear tubes as a young orphan. You are a pig, right? <laughs> Alive, but a little stiff. <laughs> By the way, hello, KH2 fan one. You are the first KH2 fan, I assume. You guys excuse us for a few minutes. Can't wait for the part where their necks stretch to inaccurate proportions thanks to off-screen shenanigans. Simba, you've got to come back to Pride Rock. I thought Sora might be able Hello, yes, I am the first. Welcome, it's an honor. I can't go back. Why? Hakuna Matata. That's right. It's something I learned out here. Sometimes bad things happen, and there's nothing you can do about it. Simba. You were there from the beginning. Hakuna? Matata! Oh my god. He's not the Simba I remember. Something about Hakuna Matata. Well, Nala, he's an adult now. He has a mane and everything. 
So, makes sense that he's not the Simba you remember. Cheer up as a reaction command. They used James Earl Jones voice clips for this game? I didn't know that. Couldn't get a replacement or find the money for the real thing. Jeez. Second favorite game my felt like spreading the word. I really like Kingdom Hearts 2. It's my fault. I have significant problems with it as this stream has shown, but I really like it. Look at the stars. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. So whenever you feel alone, just remember that those kings will always be there to guide you. And so will I. Father. Are you sure that's James Earl Jones? It sounds a little different to me. Is it time for Simba feels an emotion? No, I don't think that's James Earl Jones. That sounds like a voice match to me. I can't wait for Simba's dad to poke his head through the clouds from heaven. Oh, there it goes. It happened. You can all come out now. They're just there. Face my past. I could use your help. I do love how Mufasa's jaw was just opening straight down to speak. <laughs> Puppet Mufasa. Can't wait for Zeus to catch Zimba's dad poking his head through the clouds from heaven. Zeus is like, bitch, what the fuck? Great strength! And increasing H- That's actually pretty freaking potent. Um, oh, I have to have Simba, then I want Donald. Yeah, strict upgrade. Nice. Well, what was the special ability on Hero's Crest? Oh, air combo boost. Um, actually, I think that is better from the way I've been playing. Just because I, I haven't been casting magic at all. Is this 2.5? Yes. Or, well, it's, it's 1.5. But 1.5 includes 2. So it's the remix of 2. It's 2 final mix. Anti-form Lion Sora. That would be interesting. Zeus stick 6 Hercules on Mufasa thinking him the Nimian Lion. Uh, I thought 2.5 had Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix? I don't think so. If it does, then it also does, because this is 1.5 for sure. This one has Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Birth by Sleep, 358 days over 2 um, as, as the cutscene montage, uh, re-chain of memories, and recoded as cutscenes. It, it's a lot. It's a huge package, and all for like $50. Hi, Alex. Isn't- oh, this is 1.5 plus 2.5. Got it! I apologize, then. I am playing that, then. I- I was confused, because I- I know that there's another collection as well. Right? Yeah, you're right. It, it's 1.5 plus 2.5. I apologize. The story thus far, got it. That's the other one. I thought it was called- I thought it had two in the name. Perhaps I am making this up. Well, I've got to use Simba's limit at some point because there's an achievement for using all of the summon, the, all of the limits. I mean, they're certainly strong. Oh no, I didn't take his items away! Dude, I didn't need an ether. What's wrong with you? 
The fight was over. Give me those. You lost your privileges. As if I use these anyway. Story thus far also has 2.8, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Pad, you weirdo. At least, unless they needed vo more voice lines for Mufasa, they've at least been able to retrieve as much as they wanted from their Mufasa archive, whatever that means. <laughs> Rookie mistake not taking away every single item from your new party member. I know, right? Cage 7 2024. I'm like, I don't think so. Kingdom Hearts 999-1984. Sounds legit. All for three easy payments of 1.5 had Kingdom Hearts 1 final mix, Birth by Sleep, Rechain of Memories, and 358 over two days of the cutscene movie. 2.5 had Kingdom Hearts 2 final mix, 3D, and recoded as the cutscene montage, if I recall correctly. Got it. This, the one I'm playing right now, has all of those except um, Dream Drop Distance. Dream Drop Distance is part of the other package that you can get on the Epic Games Store. Which I do not have. I only have this one. Yeah, Alex has got it. King DDD. <laughs> Wait a minute, we're gonna fight your uncle for this? Yes, Timon. This is my home. Talk about a fixer upper. Oi. <laughs> Now that's a Kingdom Hearts title, Demonic Overlord. That's what I like to see. To you. Simba's the rightful king. The choice is yours, Scar. Either step down or fight. Must this all end in violence? Mm hmm. It's a Kingdom Hearts game. For the death of a family member, Simba. I put the past behind me. But what about your faithful subjects, have they? Simba, what's he talking about? Go on, tell them who's responsible for Mufasa's death. I am. <gasps> he admits it, murderer. If it weren't for you, Mufasa would still be alive. Do you deny it? No, but it was an accident. You're in trouble again, but this time, Daddy isn't here to save you. And now, everyone knows why. <laughs> No, this is Gaslighting indeed. Oh yes, I remember. This is just the way your father looked before he died. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. I killed Mufasa. Tell them the truth! All right, all right. I did it. Louder! 
I killed Mufasa. I love the voice acting in the actual movie. Like, the way he's, like, just choking his way through it. I wonder how the voice actor even did that. Simba, you get Scar. We'll handle these guys. God, the Lion King movie was so good! Excuse me, pardon me, coming through! I really disagree when people say that the Lion King is just Hamlet. For for the for one thing, I feel like the entire first act has more similarities to Macbeth. And second of all, the entire plot of Hamlet is him being emo and plotting to, like, get revenge on Claudius. Simba doesn't even know that Scar's bad until the end of the movie. So, I gotta say, there are similarities to Hamlet for sure, but the idea that it's just Hamlet retold is silly. Young Simba floating in midair, watching his dad fall into darkness. I know, right? That was an interesting directorial choice. Yeah. Furry Shakespeare. Mufasa was taken by the organization he's called Fam Socks now! <laughs> I love that! <laughs> Furry Bible stories? What is that? I know vegetable Bible stories. Is Furry Bible stories... No, that wouldn't be Narnia, would it? Narnia doesn't have enough furries in it. Fomsox sounds like an Elden Ring dragon. It does. Fomsox, I'm dead. Narnia has Mr. Tumnus. It is furry. Okay. Where's Simba? You know, fair. He went up there. Sticker! I mean, puzzle piece! Yeah. Fom Socks Flame is my favorite dragon incantation. I really like it. I'm a big fan of this. Ish. I still don't know what to do with these two, but that's fine. It'll come clear in time. Wait. Oops. Does that actually fit together? Oh, it does. It didn't look like they would for some reason. Okay. One step closer. And I'm about to break! Isn't the Bible itself kind of inferring that people were furries in the olden days? Really? Kind of like you have laws against obscure things in the US specifically because obscure things have happened? Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. There are a surprising amount of actual Bible stories that have been remade into furry content for the sake of furry content. I mean, <laughs> appealing to younger audiences. That's funny. I do think it's extremely funny that we were all raised on like these anthropomorphic animals and then so many kids had furry sexual awakenings and like all of the, <laughs> all the people who made that content were just surprised Pikachu about it. A big rabbit hole in itself? Jeez. If I had a dollar for the amount of times my favorite biblical allegorical tales have been turned into furry content, I'd have two dollars, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. I don't think I've seen any furry Bible stuff. 
I watched a shit ton of Veggie Tales, though. Have no idea how that could have happened if only someone could explain it. You're okay. Oh, that was just a sneak preview. Oh. This ain't over. Oh, not by a long shot. Thanks, Pete. You add a lot to this emotional climax. Anger and jealousy turned the king of Pride Rock into a heartless. I think that's the only time we see that ever happen. Gonna rise again. But this time, as the Pride lands of darkness. That's what you think. Might help to have a demonic overlord on your side. There's a Veggie Tales and Preg fic out there somewhere, so there's that. I bet the creators hate that since they're homophobic. Good night, El Bruja. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Is that a Joseph King of Dreams reference? I gotta say, the art of Sora on his as a lion, like on the HP bar, it's really cute. That's really cute art. I like that sprite. Let's do this for no reason. Probably should have used that mana to heal. Oh well, I didn't. Oh, we missed. Excellent. How does it sound like you're insulting me? Most of them involving Larry carrying the child? That's funny because that's the first thing I pictured was Larry. I don't know why. It's just easier to picture him with a baby bump than Bob, I guess. Because Bob is a bump. Play Betasaurus? That would be interesting. Yeah, I don't know what kind of artist uh, drew the sprites. The limit does make you invincible while it's out, so you got through most of it that, that unscathed. That's true. Picturing demonic to be a classically Catholic rendition of bipedal goat with, with more demonic horns like a proper devil, including a coat of fur. Yeah, that sounds accurate. Little lion boy with a chainsaw blade. I meant me saying Night Bruja because Bruja means witch in Spanish, so it sounds like I'm... <laughs> I didn't know that. The weirdly translucent rock you just did that fight on, right? Makes so much sense. Wait, is Mufasa's ghost the thing? Holy shit, it is, isn't it? Hey, what's with the light yeah, show? Yeah, they're... What's with the light <laughs> show? I'll go tell Simba. Oh, he's probably busy. Just tell him we'll be back soon. That's what he just said oh, he was gonna right. do. He's king now. He's gonna be so busy he'll probably forget about his two best buddies. Well, you always got a Yeah, at time. the end of every world well, yes, the first time you visit every world in Kingdom Hearts 2, yes, you have to find some yes, item that like magically yes, resonates with Sora's keyblade and opens the passage to the next world. It's very convenient for the plot and has no logic to it. 
and just magically, whenever they help somebody, the yeah, item shows up. True buddies. So I just told them sucks to suck. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I understand that thing, but I never knew Pride Land's item was Simba's ghost. I, uh, Mufasa's, yeah, I, I don't remember that either. Oh, I still haven't done the, the cup at Hades. At, at uh, the Olympus Coliseum. The, the Pain and Panic Cup, whatever it's called. I'm gonna do that now, and then we'll finish the, uh, stream. By the power of plot contrivance! Pain and panic cup. Yeah, what level am I? Level enough. Yeah. Oops, sorry. I mean, I'm not, because you're pain and panic, but anyway. Drive can't be used, but limits are cheap. No experience. Okay. I, okay, thanks. Farming drive forms in the Colosseum. Well, not in this cup. Gotta love a flashy finish. Anything can be a keyhole if you stab your keyblade into it. Sounds like something a frat boy would say. I love the Mirage Are I mean Coliseum. I I don't get that reference actually. What's the Mirage Arena? Oh wait, is that what it's called in Birth by Sleep? I can't remember. Oh hey kids! Looks like they came in at the right time. Hi smiles. Anything's a keyblade if you're brave enough. <laughs> well said. <laughs> yes, you, you came in just in time for me to be done very soon. I including an actual sword. Please don't. Please don't keyblade with a sword. Imagine explaining that to your doctor. Ouch, 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 ouch. Sora gets to keyblade with a sword? No, Sora gets to sword with a keyblade, it's different. I once heard the comparison that the keyblade is just a police baton it, <laughs> that believes in itself so hard that it can cut things. Yeah, the older I get, the more confused I am why the Keyblade is a thing at all. Like, it's a cool aesthetic. I, I like it. I think the design works. But it's also so dumb. Like, the animations and sound design make it feel like it has a lot of power. But if you didn't have the sound effects and flashy animations, it would just be a police baton, yeah. I'm not good at fighting these. Friendship is key. Yeah, whatever. Everybody swords with keyblades. He keyblades with the sword by sorting with it. What? When does Sora use a sword outside of um, Dive to the Heart? Are we fighting bees? Back off. 
This is it. I guess. Yes. Using magnet on those mini propeller heartless. Oh, really? Well, that didn't do quite what I was hoping it would. Let's try that again in the air. Oh, I can't jump well at the ma Oh, that's right. You can only magic on the ground, can't you? Wooden sword at the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 1 and Hollow Bastion. You're right! You're so right. St Stations of Awakening notwithstanding, Sora uses an actual sword. Thrice! I, it, I thought, isn't it called Stations of Awakening only when it's Roxas? Maybe I'm wrong about that. Wait, you guys are in this game? I mean, I know you are, but you're not at the same time, you know? Did you just try to heal? Unforgivable. These people aren't here for real, for real, Sora's hallucinating. Sounds legit. That sounds like something Hades would do, just make you think you're fighting your friends. Dream of Donald Duck! Thanks for coming in, Rev. You can magic in the air, but it has a lot of end lag for some reason. Uh -huh. Well, also, I just mean, like... Uh, you have to jump before you go into the magic menu. And since I don't have magnet on a shortcut, I had to like jump, then go to the magic menu, open it, scroll to magnet and cast it and actually do the animation before I landed. And that's just not possible. Greatly increases defense. Nice. The whole, the world as a whole is the Stations of Awakening. Oh, okay. Because Sora can get to them using the power of waking, which he always had. Because he's Sora. All right, well, that is a good stopping point for today. I should save, though. Thanks for coming to the stream, everybody. Lots of new faces today. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's great to have you here. Again, I will start streaming on a channel that is linked in the description, right? I linked it in the description, right? The power of being woke. Uh, it, it's called Jonathan Bartouche. Uh, with a two instead of the OU. And that is where I'm gonna be streaming starting October 1st. Um, and this channel will just be for the video, the like video essays. So, um, thanks for coming. Hope to see you again. And yes, I am a human person and please don't look into that. Just trust me on it because it's definitely true. Um, and I'll see you later. Take care everybody. Have a good one. Bye.